Hello, everybody. Welcome to CK Plate. Wait, CK Special. It's different this week. Hello, everybody. Woo! <laughs> 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 there it is. Ruined it already. No, nah, there we go. The mood's lightened for everybody. Welcome, everybody, to a very special edition of CK Streams here from the CK Secret Studio in CK Seattle. We own the city now. <laughs> if only. You'll see that as opposed to my usual co host of Hallie, we have Tara. The director Hello. of marketing for Card Kingdom. That's me. My boss. <laughs> and uh, we're doing some fun stuff today. Yeah, we're doing some really fun stuff. I hope you were able to join us for our kickoff our, of our anniversary month uh, with the local game show on Monday. That will be on YouTube. Is it on YouTube yet? Uh, I think it goes live in an hour. It's going mm -hmm. live later, so make sure you watch that if you missed out. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining us for celebrating our 20th year anniversary. We're so old. So old. 20 is so old. 20 is like the new 30, though, so. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that backwards? <laughs> just give it to uh, me. That's fine. I do want to point out one very important thing in chat that I just saw. Uh, Metalupus says, give Jordan a raise. I just think that needs to be uh, addressed first before everything else. Uh, just, just saying. It might be important to the stream. I don't know. Might wanna, um, where is that in chat? Uh, it's uh, right there. <laughs> which, uh, which chat, Jordan? Uh, it'd be that chat right there. Do you want me to time you right Yeah, okay, I see that. I don't, th I don't think we want to ban mm. one of our chat members mm. for having such a brilliant mm. idea. Mm. Like, truly uh, monumental. Uh, I'm going to go. Totally not planned, right? Totally yeah, organic. Definitely. Definitely yeah, organic definitely content organic. there. Not anyone who's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't chatted. Like, here, Nat, there's me. So I have a sword, so it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. I would never say such a thing. Mm -hmm. And here's me. Mm hmm Hi. Yeah, I see you all. I'm here. Hey, did you know that the anniversary yeah. jackets have a hood? Because I found out today that they have a hood. It's great. <laughs> it's detachable. <laughs> it is detachable. It just takes some effort. But yeah. Time. I know. You guys probably, you're not used to me. I'm normally not in front of the camera, but here I am. Uh, I was about to go on the road again, <laughs> but we're, we're sitting down. On the road again. This is going to be our musical episode that I've always wanted to do. <laughs> that we can't because of copyright issues. What if we change all the words? You can sing your own song as long as it's not the version that's copyrighted. So as long as you're the one singing, there's no backing track. The problem is, is that every... I, so every card we open, we'll have to like sing no, a song. No, no. <laughs> oh, look, our viewer count dropped to zero. What are you guys said about? What's Sorry, wrong? three. What's there's wrong us. with musicals? What's wrong with musicals? <laughs> I just can't. I can change words, but I almost can never keep them work safe once I start oh. because my brain just like starts making rhymes. Mm. Hence, no. Yeah, we gotta keep it work safe. Uh, I don't yep. want this to be the day that Tara lost her job. <laughs> At least yeah. we'd go out in style. Like, look. We go true. out in style. I don't have one of the beautiful jackets, but let oh, us so look at this beautiful jacket. Mm. Oh, it's so great. Mm. Thank you, Bobby43. And, <laughs> and this is, uh, yeah, like Jordan mentioned, detachable hood. Detachable. Right there. And you can win one. Yes, you can. We're going to be giving away some of these jackets right now. Uh, or maybe later. When are we giving away jackets? Sometime during the stream. <laughs> We're also going to be giving away packs, unopened packs of collector boosters. Well... Unopened for now. Well, we'll also have some unopened to give away. And we're going to give away some cards, too, that we open up. Yeah. Because this month is all about you all. Because we wouldn't be here without you, obviously. For the past 20 years 20 of years. supporting this website. And I'm very glad that folks back in 1999 support our website. Because I went back and looked at our website in 1999, and yikes. You know... Then you go back and look at other websites, and you go, Wow, we were actually ahead of our time in 1999. <laughs> Because you forget what websites looked like in the 90s. Yeah. They were real bad. The whole five the whole five websites on the internet. All the ones that all, would fit in the book we pick up from Barnes & Noble. I guess the chapters. Um, we actually have, in one of our office rooms, we have a picture that shows like all of our websites throughout the dates. I think you've posted that before. You have, yeah. It's pretty funny to look at. I have a it's zip like good inspiration. Of 99 to 2015. Since 2015, we've kept largely the same. But we've gone through some looks. It's also great to look at prices mm -hmm. of uh, what yes. Alpha used to be in 1999. What was it then? It's more so the cards. You could get an Underground C for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't think Black Lotus is worth three digits yet. Uh, nope. Yeah. They were still under 100. <sighs> Take one sold on eBay for like $80,000. <laughs> you know, good investment. I was two years old in 99. I wasn't born in 99. I was just eight months older than your website. I was barely alive in 99. Well, thank you for joining us. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with the oldies. 
Wow. Wow. Uh, can we do a giveaway? Yeah. Can we give away this thing? I think we have one ready. We to have go. one ready. Oh. So, Are we giving away a jacket? This is for a pack. Oh, this is for a pack. This is for the first pack. Pack, 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 pack. Which pack, pack, pack. we can bring out and show pack cam. Pack. Woo. Not Tara's phone cam. This is so I can read chat. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, my glasses so I can read because I'm old. Gamer girl seven five. Is that an eight, Chris? That is an That's eight. eight. Gamer girl seven five eight. You've won yourself a pack. Wee. Heck yeah. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this is why they don't let me in front of the camera. <laughs> so as you can see, we have a wide array of packs in which we are giving. Several of these are going to be opened up live on stream. So I'm taking this jacket off because it's slightly warm. Uh, and we will have all of these cards then shipped off to you. And to make sure... Ooh, that's a fun camera glitch. To make sure that they're protected, we've already got all of our plastic cases ready to go. Yes. For all of the things. Because we are prepared and we know that you want your cards in tip top shape. Yes, because. Uh, because we're Card Kingdom and we care. We're also magic players ourselves. We get it. Yeah, it's true. Gosh, we get it. Um, Quick note you might be wondering where the hell is Gavin and why is that girl in her spot? Good question, audience. Gavin will be joining us in a little bit. So until then, you get me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that might not know which Gavin we are discussing, oh. we are talking about Gavin Verhey, who works over at Wizards of the Coast, was heavily involved in Brawl and the Bree and the yes. Briation of it, the, the creation Briation. and bringing it. The Briation. The Briation. It's what happens when you really like Brie Larson. Uh, it, it will be joining us in a little bit yeah. to talk more about Eldraine as well as mm -hmm. join us in this pack cracking mm -hmm. adventure. And if you win a card, one of the singles, and you want it signed by him, I bet we can make that happen. If you Probably. Wanted. Yeah, I bet he'd be willing to do that. I mean, we will no longer accept it if you're trying to sell it back to Card Kingdom, though, because we do not accept any cards. <laughs> but it's a memory. People like that stuff. Memory. All right. Uh, should we? You're the one that said musical. Musical. I appreciated it yes. very much. I feel like we should open up a pack, and what's happening is we're going to pick a winner for this pack. And then we are going to open up said pack. All of your cards will be safely secured in one of our plastic cases. All of these lovely storybook cards. And in this case, Moogie Gan? Gone? I'm sorry. Moogie Gone. Moogie Gone. You are going to be receiving these cards. These cards are your cards. These cards, well, they are your cards. Are you here? Can you? If you're in chat... Tell please, us, please say let hi. us know that you're here. Tell us we're because here. Because we yeah, want to experience this with you. Are you a ready? Woo is Are you ready? ready? Woo. Woo, woo. Okay, sorry. I'm like really nervous. We should be wearing gloves. I don't want to ruin your cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now like have stage fright. You've got this. Okay, I got this. Oh, got this. Okay, I'm going to be very gentle. Gentle. It's okay. The first one's a scarecrow. It can stand gentle. up to it. Gentle. God, okay. We got that pack foil mana fixing. How close did I get? Will it zoom oh. in for, whoa. Uh, is this on autofocus? Uh, probably. All right, so if, theoretically, if you pull it up, it'll focus in. But if it's not, then I'll get working on it. Um, sure is waiting not. Waiting for it, waiting for it, maybe, perhaps. It's also weirdly really Waiting glitchy. for it. Uh, wait, where the heck is probably? Waiting for <laughs> it. Uh, I'm trying. I'm just a scarecrow hanging out. Gonna hang out here. Of course it's not giving me the properties stuff. we need. Yeah, we also have a bit of a glitch fest, so give us a second here. Glitch. We're gonna pew, pew. refresh pew, pew. that camera. Until then, you're just gonna hear me annoyingly talk about this Yeah, it's still having its on, Chris. Mm. Do, 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 do. Focus, turn that off. Thank you for hanging with us while we figure this out. Uh, we're gonna make this more enjoyable. This will make I'm the experience more it. enjoyable. So you're almost there. You almost got it. this is our first pack. Oh, I should have done my nails. Well, think about wrong it. way. Look, you got zoom cam. That's not zoom. There we go. No, it's what? Woo. I fixed it. Yay! Look, so, I'm amazing. Moo. Moo Yum, we got a signpost scarecrow in foil. In foil. Because if it's a normal card like this. It's gonna be in foil. Beep. So you got your shiny Beep. mana fixing. Shiny. 
And then one of my uh, favorite 22-23s in uh, Throne of Eldraine. Wicked Guardian. Because who doesn't love card love draw? I this card. It's really beautiful. Yeah, and it's foil. the mean aunt. Oh, it's so grand. Or, no, uh, Wicked yeah. Stepmom. Yeah, Son Wicked Stepmom. Thank you. Ah, born to greatness. You are born to scrub greatness's floors. Like, can we just appreciate that flavor text for a moment? Because it's fabulous. I'd appreciate I know it if we had... Jitter's still there. We will be working on it in a sec. I know people, uh, not all people read the flavor text, but a lot of thought and heart goes into the flavor text. So mm -hmm. that one is a particularly good one. Yes, we've got the Wicked Guardian. Up next, we have uh, uh, maybe the Wicked Guardian's Witch's home. Witch's Cottage. Which cottage? Mm -hmm. Dish Cottage. Dish Cottage, right here. Dish Cottage is not your cottage, Moon. Moogie. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. I'm never going to get invited back to do this. <laughs> Moogie gone. Oh, can I call you Moogie? Is that okay? Say it's okay in chat, please. So then I don't feel so bad. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, Curious Pear. And here we see our first card with the new adventure feature. Also foil. Can you see that nice, beautiful shine? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, heck it's yes. It's gingerbread like mother makes. What is there to be afraid of? Oh, kid, if you only knew. If you only So knew. many things. So many things. So many wicked things. Uh, wicked. A brief second, Chris. Yes. What is up? Brief second. Do we just need to change the USB ports of this camera? Is it plugged into one that is too close? Is that an issue that we've Should had be. before? One is plugged into the hub, one is plugged straight into the computer. All right. It's mostly because this glitch is getting uh, real bad for some folks in chat, and I want to see if we can address this. Okay, we're going to address the glitch. The glitch. The glitch. glitch the glitch, glitch. glitch. On the plus side, we do have a storybook card coming up next, so now we've got the real <gasps> spice of the collector's boosters. Mm hmm. Hey, nerd girl. What's up? What's up, nerd girl? Packs, 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 packs. So Did you fix the glitch? we have not fixed the glitch, so I'm gonna take a quick look here. Wow, wow. Van for time, the camera's on you. All right, well, it's time for story time, I guess. Cause what better time to tell a story than opening Throne of Eldraine packs? So as we mentioned earlier before, this month we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. Uh, we kicked it off on Monday with our local game show, which will be available to watch later today on our YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I'm being told it's about 3 p.m. And then this month we have our special streams, including this one where you can win packs and jackets and we're opening packs and it's gonna be lots of fun. And then next week is our AMA with our founders, John and Damon Morris. They're gonna be taking your questions. Um, Not related. <laughs> Just kidding, they are. They, they're brothers. Uh, Card Kingdom was started in their basement, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and so that will be next week, and then we'll also have some other streams, and this is obviously all leading up to the Chalice, our MTG charity tournament. What? Who wants to see the, <laughs> the jacket? The lovely jacket. Ship out of that. Mm. 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 Also, I didn't actually realize this ahead of time, but how fitting is it that Card Kingdom got started in a basement? Just a couple of nerds in their basement literally making yeah. a Magic mm -hmm. Card Song website. Yeah. That's very on brand for it, us. It is on brand. Uh, Let's see how we're looking. And you can also, oh. Dang it. No, still glitchy? Still glitchy. Okay. Um, and also, oh, I didn't bring any of the foil token, squirrel tokens. If you order from us during our celebration, you will get a squirrel token, which is a foil, beautiful foil. Oh, do you have one? Oh, yes. Whoa. Whoa. Here. Beautiful foil. Look at that little duder. How could you not want this guy? Squirrel, 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 squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> so cute. And it's foil. Can you see, a, can you see the shine? There it is. Do, do, do. And it says, you know, limited 20th anniversary. Uh, limited edition token for Card Kingdom, established in 1999. So you'll, They're real good. you'll get one of these tokens with every order um, through this month. And of course, Besides giving back to our community and our patrons by to giving out tokens and giving out prizes and gifts, we're also giving back to the community by raising money uh, through the chalice. So if you want to do that, you can either support your favorite content creator who is um, playing in the chalice, or you can just give in general. Uh, and it all goes to, do you want to bring it up? Yeah, it goes, so it goes to Serious Fun, show does that work. Mm -hmm. It's all about creating opportunities for children and their families to reach beyond serious illness. 
and discover joy, confidence, and new world of possibilities. What that basically means is it takes children that are in very serious medical conditions and allows them to get experiences that they've been limited to due to their health. Right, because every kid deserves fun. Oh, yeah. And yeah. in terms of who's participating, we've got Cube April, we've got Good Luck High Five, we have the Professor, we have MTG Nerd Girl, who's in the chat right now, who's raising for this. We have uh, Tappy Toe Claws, so we actually have a literal dinosaur raising money. That's terrifying. We've got Graham Stark from Loading Ready Run, Ryan Spann from Going Optimal, Ashlyn Rose, Brad Nelson, Dana Fisher, Chris Van Meter, Melissa DeTorum, Michelle Rapp, Asian Avenger, uh, Matthew Anders and BBD. So we got tons of people that are all raising money for a great cause, and some of them are doing ridiculous things, like the professor, who's going to shave his head if he hits his uh, goal or super goal. I cannot remember which, but is he going to really? He has said that he will be oh shaving God. his head. I can't remember if it's hitting his goal or his like upper goal, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that, professor. That's very generous of you. It seems unnecessary, but I appreciate it. I'll admit right? I'm now biased towards Ashlyn, though, because of her goals. <gasps> oh, with One of her Jimmy goals is, well, well there's Josh. Jimmy and Josh, but there's also a goal with Pleasant Kenobi to get him to play dating sims on a stream, which is relevant to my interest because seeing Vince try to get through a dating sim sounds like the best day ever. But as long as <coughs> this the best thing is that no matter who you're raising money for, the it kids all goes, win. It, it all goes to a good cause. So... Please look at donating if you can. Uh, even a dollar helps, honestly. Like, yeah. everybody can make a little bit of a difference and bring some cheer into the world. So that's what we're doing for our 20th anniversary. Giving back to the community. We're giving back to our community, the magic community in general. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, with the Chalice, I have to give a huge shout out to Wizards of the Coast. They're donating tons of products for us to give away. So if there are any wizard people, thank you. Especially, really appreciate and it. And we got one coming in a little bit. And Gavin, who's going to be coming in and stream with us. So we're still having issues with the glitch, but we think we are just going to power through it for the time all right, being. All right, so we're going to get back into movie, so we should movie have, Gons cards. Yeah, we got Movie Gons cards here. We have another beautiful, uh, here we have another adventure card with Merfolk Wizard, Merfolk Secret Keeper. Merfolk Secret Keeper making Foil. quite the splash in just lots of decks right now doing fun things. Really beautiful card. Also, it's just gorgeous. I know, I love this card. Oh, I wish I could make it a little clear. It's okay. uh, well, I can handle that. Okay, there we go. Mm, oh, this is a, this is just a cute card right here. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get the. The giant had heard of locks, but he had yet to discover a door he couldn't open. Like again, that flavor text. Barjun is great. I love this. And coming up next is uh, the worst card for me personally because of uh, my brand that I wish I didn't have. It's mm. a Frozen. Well, not a Frozen joke, but let's get real. Everyone's thinking of Frozen. The Queen of Ice. I'm not going to start singing it because those, <coughs> those notes are too high for me. I appreciate it. You that. can do it. I'd rather not. I do it enough. Do you? Desert Bus. Oh. Yeah. You don't do it at the office. I feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, because I don't want to do it at the office. It's so beautiful. Ugh. Oh. These collector packs are so fun. It's, good. it's pretty amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, one of my favorites. Oh, oh don't yes. Don't you want to build a trip Twitch brand? <laughs> so. <laughs> I quit. I quit. I quit. I'm out. I'm done. So you're not supposed to have favorites, but Seb is honestly one of my absolute favorite artists. His stuff is just. Also, this card is just really good. It also is just really good, but I just want to own this art. So good. And also, it's a great card. But, like, look at that. Look at how beautiful yeah. it is. Oh, they, they just really outdid themselves. Wizards just outdid themselves with this set. It's just the thought and detail and love that has gone into every single card is incredible. Mm -hmm. Let's just stare at this one a little longer. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like how we're slow rolling movie from actually seeing, like, the end of the pack where the very spicy things may lie. Everything is spicy here. <laughs> Come on. I agree. But as we know in Magic... The spiciest cards come at the end, always. Yeah. Right, well, we gotta save the best for last. Got this cute little fairy. Oh, they cute little mana pixie. Look at that. Also, just a two-two flyer for two. I want it. I want it. What, is that like a tail? Sure. Is it a tail? Sure. Okay. I don't Maybe. actually know, but probably yes. Okay. Ooh. Yo. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so uh, this pack just got real, real spicy. Real spicy. Hey, Moogie. Hey, Moogie. Check I hope you enjoy out. your Fae of Wishes. Like, which, seriously? 
Uh, everyone Seriously. wants right now. Yeah. I forget what the actual it. value on that right now, but it's Faye a is good very one. good. It's a good one. Also, that art. Gorgeous. If anyone wants to get me a very early Christmas present, the original art for this is currently on auction for eBay. When I last saw the price, it was $4,150, but no. uh, it wouldn't be bad for me to have. <clears throat> the, the OG art? Oh, yeah. The OG. It's uh, paint and colored pencils on How the large? colored canvas. Uh, that I cannot recall. You know, smaller than you expect. That's a honestly. just like bargain. Orig OG for original art, art OG yeah, art, but like, still four grand. Here we go. Ooh, death touch. Oh, I want a Falmire knight. It's looking pretty cool. Like it. It's PDs. Yeah. And we got another. Ooh. All ooh. right. So this pack contains both foil and non-foil, but both adventure frames nice. of Zemurfok Secret Demo Keeper. Fuck. Very beautiful. Love it. Tome of Legends. All oh, right, there's just like casually a rare in here, rare yeah. slash mythic in here too. This is my first time opening one of these collectors packs, so it's also exciting for me. Yeah, it's pretty awesome stuff. These things, like I know it's one of those things that just, oh my gosh, get out of here, Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. Oh my god. Sorry, right. <laughs> Miss Vess. I don't feel so good. Ready for this? <laughs> Hey, what up? It's your boy Garrick in extended art versions. Garuk, Garuk, Garuk is no longer on fire. OMG. But speaking of fire, <laughs> our next card has quite a bit of fire on it. Look at that. Wow. So, like, you can get a Karn with this. Why not just cast a Karn? Just, That's just cast a Karn. Have a That's good time. Awesome. That's awesome. If you actually Love build a deck colors. with this, Smoogie, it would be awesome to see what you make. Especially if you make all dwarfs. Dwarf! Look how cute that little dude is. Boop, are these double-sided or single-sided on the tokens? Oh! Ones. They are double-sided. <gasps> I like how Whoa. the food tokens in Eldraine alternate between, oh dear god, I never want to eat that ever, and why am I playing at 11 o'clock? I'm really hungry now. <laughs> I mean, tasty. Uh, but like, this dwarf. So cute. Dwarf. Okay, shuffling off the screen. Goodbye. We're gonna put these cards here. I'm gonna let you I do got it. it. You do it. And we'll keep the. Congratulations, Moogie. Keep the. I hope you like these cards. Room. And thank you for joining us yeah, and being a part of this. Our pleasure, Moogie. Um, are we ready to do another giveaway? Oh yeah, I've got a name ready to go. Oh yes. The question is, are we opening this one or are they getting mystery cards? Ooh. Chat decides. Open or mystery cards for this person. And you don't get to see whose name this is yet. So you could be voting mm -hmm. against yourself in terms of seeing whether you get it now. All right, so we have open, mystery, triple open, opens, opens, open, opens. Open, open, open. 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 Mystery. Oh, open's winning. Open yeah. winning. Okay, we're going to open Open's winning. All right, and we, so, have our, we have our pack. Where do you go? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's throw that on the table. Who, wait, burp, burp, burp. oh. Burp. We've oh, got Sheba's Rule 1. Sheba's and Rule 1. I just agree with you, so congratulations, Sheba's, Sheba's Rule 1. Sheba's Rule 1. You're going to get all these cards. These are your cards. But also, your name's awesome because you're right. And for everyone that's coming in and hoping for wins, don't worry, we have a lot of packs. Got lots of packs. Packs, 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 packs. Not to confuse with the expo. We already did that. We're good. <laughs> We're so good. All right, here we go. Crack it. Sheba. Is Sheba here in chat? Are you here? Are you with us? Art, Art is an actual doge here in chat right now. You have to tell me if you're a dog. Doge, what are you going to do with these cards? That's the rule. These are your cards. On the plus side, we do get all of the information, so. Ooh. Take care of that. Merfolk Secret Keeper. It's a popular Coming foil we get, but this time in a non-storybook frame. So now we've seen every version of Secret Keeper that we can see in these packs. Oh, that's a great point, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Secrets. Secrets. Play with them. We did no. not win these, so we will not play with these. Can't play. We are not monsters. Yeah. I'm like nervous just touching these. Like, I wish I should have brought gloves because I'm like, oh gosh, please. I'm not going <laughs> to well, them. Chris, rec or Chris suggest or I asked about gloves, and Chris said, oh yeah, I can go get them from the kitchen. So let's not. <laughs> let's, let's go against that. <laughs> Ooh. Scalding cauldron. Sure is a fine draft pick. I wouldn't dump it right, on any. Oops, sorry. I'm like yeah. reading it. I wouldn't dump it on any but the wicked. 
I what mean, is wicked? Hot soup Who coming is through. Wicked? Uh -oh. Hot soup! Hot soup? I was just trying to give you some soup. Why are you getting mad at me? Beautiful. Right. Ooh, pumpkin Ooh. time. Oh, this card's cute. Oh, wait. Oh, cards. Yeah, cards. Just. I think my favorite moment with this card, I believe, was during the pre pre release, actually, from mm -hmm. our friends over at Low and Ready Run, where someone cast this targeting the witch's care, or like the enchanted carriage that is yeah. pictured in that card art. So pretty. And it was like, ah, oh, so perfect. Look at those cute little mice. Dreamed of glorious galloping for the rest of their days. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't oh. seen the storybook art oh, on this yeah. one. Tree folk druid. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful that Do is. Do you like to pump creatures and then bring in a 6 5? Well, then the tree folk is for you, Shib as rule one. I will help you grow some rings. Or is it Shib as rule one? <laughs> Shib's. I feel like that's not correct. Is Shib as rule in it's, the chat? Uh, I don't think I've seen them. Okay. It's possible in two card packs. Unfortunately, not. That would so, so pretty. And a story. And a story. <laughs> I took a drip of, or a sip of water at the wrong time. Unfortunately, not because we want as many different folks in our community to have a chance at getting these packs as possible. But to make sure that no one feels like they have gotten, you know, less of a pack than anything else, we're drawing the names ahead of time. So that way no one knows what we've got coming up. It's true. Gingerbread cabin. You want some food? This is some food. Land forest. Mm -hmm. It's a land that's a food. You can fetch that if you want, which yeah. I didn't realize you but, actually can do. It's yeah, literally it's pretty, a forest. It's pretty funny. Sacrifice this army. Gain three life. Because every, you know, a little gingerbread will pick me up. Ah, I see you're taking the opportunity. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have prepared myself. Wait, 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 wait. I should have prepared wait, wait, wait. myself. There's no preparation. He for likes this. to remind me that that's why I hired him, which is true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're right. I literally supposed, hired you. To I'm supposed jokes. to be a pungin master. It's true. You're very, very, very good at it, Jordan. Woo! Dabs IRL. Beautiful. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Ah, hey, oh, we got the storybook yay. version of that. I love it. God, the storybook is and so again, good. And again, what is there to be afraid of? Everything. A lot, children. Literally a everything. Lot. Do you see those creepy hands? They're coming for you. Oh, oh, they're witches' hands. This hands, witch hands. Dishan, Dishan, red hair. When I see this card, I love this art. But when I see this card, all I can think of is just got a sheep here. Want a sheep? I got one. Please. Not all here. Take the sheep. Carry swords. Please. Can you take the sheep? It's, it's really sore. It make my shoulder real sore. I don't know. I feel like the um, sheep is like a nice little like uh, it's like a scarf. Like it's pretty it's windy. a living scarf. It's pretty windy. This like bowl keeps the water off of me really nicely. <laughs> Thank you, sheep, for doing your job. This is before they learned how to knit. <laughs> before they realized they could take the wool <laughs> off, this everyone they, just wore a everyone sheep. Everyone just wore a sheep. Can't, I can't knit. What am I supposed to do with this wool? I'll just wear you. I'll just wear a living creature. And then, when you get hungry, you got a little snack. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, we've graduated eating raw lamb. <laughs> We're talking about eating children. Hashtag eat the babies. I think my no eat no. I think my response to this is ew, like e w e, uh, like the name for a sheep. Mystical dispute. It's fine. It's fine. Counter. Counters, I'd like to counter that last joke. Counter. Can, is that how that works? Yes. Sorry, out there. Sorry, can't counter it. Uh, sorry. No more hashtags, Terry. You're cut off, according to Kevin. Uh oh. Kevin cut me off from hashtags. Yes. <laughs> Kevin's fired. More hashtags. No. I do what I want. <clears throat> Not. I also appreciate that I have more powers in this channel than you do. <laughs> Just looking at this. Oh, that's that's true. I'm not a moderator. <laughs> mm -hmm. The director of moder marketing does not need to be the moderator. That's, that's very true. Uh, oh, actually, I was, I was making a joke. I was like, oh, you're right. But sure. Yes, I'll pretend like that. Never. You got enough going on without having to moderate our Twitch chat. I just I just like to... Um, we have lovely volunteers for that. That's true. Our volunteers are the best. Oh, <gasps> cool. I'm just a lurker. I lurk in chat a lot. Sometimes I talk. I love Flying. Hypnotic Sprite. I'm debating putting this card in a couple decks. What would you put it in? My Canadian Highlander deck. But oh. I'm not certain if it's fast enough, but it's also amazing and beautiful, and that might be enough to get in. That's I love the art for this. Oh, so good. I'm yeah, I'm one of those people that I'm just like I make obnoxious decks that I'm just like I, I just like this thing. I'm just gonna make it. Curious Paragon. 
Mm-hmm. Ah, so foil and non-foil, same mm-hmm. pack. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That one's Battle Guard. Can you see that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like some of the individual the text of doesn't come through, but the art is, I think, what most people are coming for. Right, right, right. True. Ooh, here we go. Sweet. <laughs> ah, the Fires of Invention deck. Yes. Everyone's favorite. Which version? Matt. Like six different fires. I know, and they're all no one's favorite except the people playing them. They're great. So make, fires. make sure. Yeah. Oh. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? Come back! I'll bite your legs off! It's the Monty Python the Holy Grail reference on a card. Because it comes in with four counters, and every time it gets hit, it loses one of its limbs. I love that. <laughs> Until it's just left with a head. <laughs> Until it's dead. I'll bite your legs off! It should be Come a whole one, though, so it just sits there the last time. <laughs> <laughs> and just yells at people. Nah, it gets written out of the movie, so I think it has to stay to zero, zero. It's like, you coward, and just taunts. That's all it does. Only if, it, if you're near it, though. The Black Knight always triumphs! Goat. There. Goat. Food. See, is the that thing, a goat food? Uh, it's like a face food. It is a sad face. I actually this rule in the chat. Yay! Boom. These are all yours. And we will protect all of them. Protecting for your life. You do. You do. I'm doing it. I'm okay. doing it. Thank you for joining us. If you're just joining us, we are celebrating our 20th anniversary by opening packs and giving you the packs. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have lots of winners. Yeah, we lots are Lots of winners coming up. Ready. Please take these from start, me. I'm going to have to start opening faster. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm like, oh, this one's so nice. Do you see the shine? Hey, boss. Can I open one? Oh, I'm sorry, Jordan. Yes. Yes, you may open one. Here. Boom. I'm going to open Jorvin 120's pack. J. Corvin? J. Corvin 120's pack. I can read. This is your pack. Jay Corbin, do you want to trade these or you want to just do it right I'll there? I'll just reach over. Okay. We got enough space here. So let's put Jay Corbin Dare. You right know there. whose pack it is. Mm-hmm. Ah, that wonderful sound. It's a great sound. Mm-hmm. That clearly says Jordab. <laughs> Jordab. It does not say, it clearly says Jordan Hopkins of Card Kingdom Marketing. Weird how that worked. Employees cannot win. M- employees cannot win. <laughs> employees cannot win. But we win. can get a Mantle of Tides, which is one of my favorite little cards in Throne of Eldraine drafting right now. It's surprisingly strong. And then sometimes, you just want a roving keep. Just a big old face keep. Otherwise known as Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> I know, it does. I mean, yes. <laughs> Pretty fab. Ah, I see my brand is here. Have you ever wanted to just literally suplex a bear? You can do that without muscle. It's literally just suplexing a bear. This card's great. Cool. Love this card. It's ridiculous. Uh, We've got the Youthful Knight. Look at the gold foil on that. So pretty. Oh, yes. So there's our first four foils. Now we've got some, we got a storybook card. We have the Silver Flame Squire. The Silver Flame. I don't know why. It, it's because of the conversation we had just before stream. I'm going accented. I'm going with the fake French cartoon character's accent. That one's beautiful. It's so good. It's it reminds so me beautiful. of the history of Benalia and having like the different storylines on either side. So pretty. Ah, so good. And then we've got ah, oh, just a casual fling. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to chuck a goblin. Chuck a goblin. Grab, I want to grab another cousin. <laughs> That's my dad's favorite card. The goblin Canyon. Hey, OG, it's good. Then we've got just a turtle. It's just a turtle. Why not? Is there a thing? Oh, yeah. There is a fairy on it. There is a fairy riding the turtle. Yeet the goblin. All right, so you've got your Keyblade Fairy, or one of the Keyblade Fairies. That's on brand. Are yeah, you? I know. Are you gonna put? Are you gonna build a deck with it? I'm tempted to make. I mean, if I get back into Commander, yes. Ooh, sometimes you get naughty with a bog naughty. It shoots food at you until you die from it. I love this card. Oh yes. Hey, we've got a storybook card, and it is <gasps> what you know, announced storybook cards it in the is. world with mm-hmm. the Flaxen Intruder. It's pretty special. 
Pretty special. And then we keep just finding secrets. We are a company that does not do a good job of keeping secrets. <laughs> what? Because we're opening the packs here. Yeah. We're taking the secret. Yeah. And opening them. Yeah. Keep explaining the joke. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the non-foil Silver Flame Squire. Nice, nice. Ooh, I like the flavor of the next two cards. We've just got a casual gluttonous troll. Oh my gosh. It's gross. It's eating chickens. But then we have another troll. We have the Clackbridge Troll. Nice. With fun extended art. And then to top off this pack, we have Foil Yarvo. It's a big old, Yarvo. it's the Jolly Green Giant. Or one of them. There's actually two in this set. They both want you to eat your peas. Not a bad idea. Makes you nice and strong. Yeah, it's very good to eat your peas at night. Oh, no. Is it a food token on the back? It is a food it token. It is a food token on the back. My joke is saved. Wouldn't it be funny if there were actual vegetables on the back? Oh, I would not ever be allowed to do this again. I think you would. So, Jay Corbin. Those are yours. That pack's going to you. I'm liking it nice and... Yes. Oh, God. Oh. The question is, do you yeah. want to talk about this one? Math. Use. Oh, yeah, I do. Where is it? It's behind me. Do you want to put it on? Sure, yes, I will do that. Right, it's fitted The setup, for the setup it's, for the next fitted giveaway. It's for me. The setup, you'll never see this coming. Look at this. It's a nice, like, just blank canvas. But wouldn't that blank canvas look better? With this Card Kingdom logo on it? Because the answer is yes. Yes, it would. <laughs> and that's why you, Mr. Matt News, is it Matthews or Matt News? Matt News. Matt, Matt News. News. You're winning a jacket. Uh, make sure you let us know your sizing so we can order you the right one. I already did on the thing. Woo! You're good. You're golden. Thank you. Yeah, Chris did a great job with the uh, form. So almost all this information is already ready to go. Round of applause for Chris. Thank you, Chris, for handling that. And you're going to look real, Matt News, you're going to look real good in this jacket. Also, Ten it's picks. nice and warm. They are they're it's deceivingly really nice and warm. They're deceivingly warm. They're like nice and cozy. They're great for layering. <laughs> great for layering. Do we mention the hood comes off? Because the hood comes off. Because the hood does come off. See, you can unbutton it. You can right unbutton here. it. And it even has a, do you mind if I open your jacket a little bit? It has this like handy zip thing for you to clean your patches, because apparently that's a thing. So you can like clean your patch. That's a thing. That's a thing. People into Wait, patches how? know this is a thing. Because apparently. Oh no, this is the whole the, lining. Yeah, it's like it, they get dirty on the cloth of the patch. So you can unzip, clean your patch, zip it back up. And what? Well, they oh. thought of everything. Oh, and, it literally tells you on this too what this is. <laughs> yeah, totally does. Amazing. It does. I love it. There's also a pocket for your phone. So, I mean, we basically, we thought, card we thought of everything. My phone's giant. Does it fit? Does it fit? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, it's too giant. Oh, wait. I also have a pop socket on it, so that's not helping. Here, try my phone. You're going to lose chat. I'm going to lose chat. Without the pop socket, does it fit? Or is this a document pouch? You also have a pop socket. No, I don't. No, you don't. It's, it's a, a sticker. CK sticker. No, it doesn't Aubrey. fit this oh, phone. Oh, wow, It's a Big document song. holder. Did anybody get our awesome sticker pack for Throne of Eldring? It's so cool. Because they're super rad. Wait, 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 hold on. You can put packs in it. That's on brand. Hey, do you need to show up to a draft, but you're missing one pack? Not anymore, you're not. With the Card Kingdom Letterman jacket, conveniently with a booster pocket holder. Jackets do not come with packs. God, if we could do that, though, that'd be great. I, yes. Except they're just tokens. They're just like just tokens. old tokens. Another thing, if you're just joining us, if you order from us this month, Speaking you get of a tokens. squirrel token. Me, 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 me. I'm a cute squirrel. Buy me. Well, order so you can have me. <laughs> <laughs> Next pack. That's our boss. She's in charge of our jobs. Uh, <laughs> just gonna, just gonna move this away. Just, I'm very gonna, qualified. Just gonna put that there. Very professional. Squirrel. What? Where? Oh, this squirrel right here. It's gonna get oh, off face cam God. now. Hey, look, it's us again. Oh God. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with chat, but I can't. I'm sorry. Also, hey, look. Guess who's next? 
It's Sarazone. You did win, Sarazone. And we have all of these cards. Do you want us to open it or do you want to keep it? Would you like the mystery or would you like to see? Keep or open. Keep or open. Keep or open. Open. Did they say open? Oh, they said open. Oh, you did? They said open. All right. Yeah. Oh, Gamer Girl, you are part of the company just for being here. Thank you. <laughs> all right. You can do this one, too. All right. Sarazim, I will open your pack. I will take all great care Squirrel. in opening this pack. I will not have let this pack be attacked by the squirrel. <coughs> How do you feel about dwarven yours? Because I'd really like to talk about dwarven mine. Oh. <laughs> 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 have you ever heard of the ditching well? Because I have a question about the witching well. Ma Which ditch well is this? Where's my little drum? Boom. Okay, I'm ready. I don't have one for Crash and oh, Drawbridge. Oh. It's just a bridge. It's just a bridge. Man, you're on such a roll. Eh, I was trying to bridge the gap with that joke. Oh. I can't do anything. Ba -dum <laughs> hey, you know Dis Stalker I'm talking about? Or are you asking which stalker? Oh, ba -dum bum Question mark? I don't know. <laughs> keep on going, keep on going. Draft. <laughs> Sorry to mail tactician. This card's great. I don't have a pun for it. It's just a good card it and draft. It is good card. Good card. It right does there. good things. Good card. Beautiful card. If I keep up with these jokes, I feel like someone's gonna huff and then puff and then fire me or blow your house down. <laughs> I don't know which way the fairy tale works, but I know which way the stream's gonna end. Oh, oh! I love, you're doing great, Jordan. On okay. brand. On brand. You're walking into the woods. Yes. You come across a small object with someone inside of it. Do you ever let that person have the jar? Or do you realize that a wizard put them in there and they should stay in there? Because the answer is they should stay in there. You don't help them. You don't let them out of the jar. Because then you... Because you got this tiny person in a jar. You okay. never let them out of the jar. Poor, poor person. You never let them out of the jar. Because a strong wizard probably put them in there. They stay in the jar. I, they yeah. agree. Jordan will fail the Voight comp test if that ever becomes a thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Shout out to all my nerds out there. Who <laughs> that is that a Blade Runner joke? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> You know what my favorite film of all time is? 2001 A Night's Tale. It's that whole thing where they do all the jousting. I don't know that film. It's real bad. It's real weird. It's, it's better than you think it is, but it's not good. Yeah, Wait, no. What's it called? A Night's Tale. It's Heath Ledger, and they're literally, it's like a jousting movie in old times, but they like have modern music. Yeah. It's, so, it's real like, bizarre. Is it like the Romeo and Juliet kind of thing? No, Leonardo because DiCaprio? it is like historical. Oh. But there's just random moments where it's kind of... Interesting. Uh, question mark? Alright. Uh, I have nothing for Fairy Vandal. I'm sorry. My jokes have run out. Well, I say that, but that's a nice shield you got there. See, to everybody saying it's a wonderful movie and it's amazing, yes, it's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Some I people... watch it every time. I've met... Does that mean I should watch it? <clears throat> should I watch that movie? It, yes. I it's hate wrong. to break in <gasps> here. So pretty. But some of the most unique Can't. magic art in years Look away. is right here. That's oh. a nice shield you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Oh, wait, can I see? You can oh. see. Chad, however, is going to move on okay. to. Ooh, we've seen this one before, but so now we see gorgeous. it. <coughs> in non foil. Oh, we have the tree folk. I just a tree folk right there. It's down. so tree, good. Tree folk droid. It feels like it comes right out from a children's storybook. Uh, Isn't that the artist? Like, does, doesn't that person do children's? Maybe? See, I have a question about the Merchant of the Veil. If they're a merchant, how bad are they that they throw away their ware first before they get something else? You gotta discard a card and then draw a card. What a terrible merchant. So bad. So critical. Clearly they've never played uh, Stardew Valley or some other game where you mm. sell things. G2. Ah, Zevron's Battle Guard that we saw previously. Is that one of those? Mm -hmm. This from the Planeswalker decks. And then Extended Art Linden. We stand a queen. Uh, I need to see an art an altar of this with Lizzo Jess. ASAP, please. Gorgeous. So good. However, the next card is real spicy. Spice. And you're gonna be probably pretty can't happy about it. this. Can't see it. You can't see it yet, but I'm so um, excited. it's making waves in most formats. Alright. Because it's a foil <gasps> once upon a time. Ooh, yar. 
There was some value right there. Yar yar. Yes, so good. And bore. Bore. I don't want to bore you with these jokes, but I'm feeling hungry because when it dies, it makes its food token. Beautiful. Sarism, this is your pack. This is your pack. The very, very shiny Once Upon a Time, which is legit. Card's real good. Card's real good. Card's real good. Card's real good. So we'll put that off to the side. Somebody's asking how they can win in chat. Well, you can follow the links that uh, Card Team has just posted in chat. We have one that is a Google form. Let me actually take us to my face. Uh, we have one that is a Google form for the jackets and one that is a Google form for packs. You can sign up for both of them. <coughs> it's a random draw from there. And then uh, we um, are pulling names from there. Yep. We're opening packs and celebrating our 20th anniversary. So thank you for being here with us. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself for those who are just joining yes. us? Yes. My name is Jordan. I'm the community manager for Card Kingdom. You have probably seen my writings on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Card Kingdom, when you see me in Twitch chat, that's not our Twitch chat. And on CK Plays every single week, where we play Magic Arena every Wednesday when we're not both ill, which has been a real problem these past yeah, few weeks. Holly has been, keep getting sick. Yeah, Holly's been under the weather as well. But who are you? Because you are a mystery oh, to many people in Hello. our community. Hello, I am Tara. I'm the director of marketing at Card Kingdom and Mox Boarding House. For those of you who have been able to live in Seattle, either live in Washington or come visit us, uh, we have Card Kingdom has a brick and mortar called Mox Boarding House. We have one in Ballard, Seattle, in Bellevue, and we're about to have one in Portland. Woo! So for you Oregonians, we're coming at, you, we're coming for is, you. Is that the word for it? I've Oregonian? never been to Portland. Well, I mean, they're like Portlandites, or and then Oregonians. Oregonians is the word. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but yeah. I'm from Connecticut, and I don't think we have one because our name is so, or our state name is so long that like. Connecticut, Connecticut. It, it's bad. It's bad the more you try to do it. Well, you've been here long enough that you're now a Washingtonian. So. Yes. 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 So that's what Oregonons. I do. Oregonians. <laughs> Oregonians. <laughs> All you Oregonians. Um. So that's Taste what I do. Taste great on pizza. I don't come in front of the camera too often. Every once in a while you'll see me, but uh, here I am. Cracking yes, packs. Gavin is going to be on later, I promise. I know, you're like, why is this person here and not Gavin? I'm sorry, he's coming later. You get me till then. <coughs> uh, and for those of you who missed out, Gavin was actually a contestant on our local game show, which is how we kicked off our 20th anniversary on Monday night. And that video is going to be available in about 10 minutes on our mm -hmm. YouTube channel. But you shouldn't leave because we want you to win some cards. Because this jackets. is happening live. Yeah. Where you can win. Live, right that here. That VOD will still exist. It's Open true. up multiple windows and keep the YouTube on a loop while we keep streaming. That won't be confusing for your ears Not whatsoever. <laughs> Not at all. But Tara, how about we give another pack away? Ooh, okay. That sounds great, Jordan. Fantastic. Would Ooh. you like to introduce our next winner? I'm going to say it wrong, so you say it. Uh, you mean oh. Lord Zypharius? Lord Zypharius! Lord Zypharius, are you hanging out in the chat? And would you like mystery cards, or would you like everyone to see them here? Kevin emerges from the last pack wrapped in foil commanders. I would love to make that happen, but he is slightly bigger than a pack. I wish that. Bro, whoa, Gavin, you've been here the whole time. Didn't see it's is magic. Is that what that pile of bags is in the corner? It's is that magic. Gavin? Is... It's magic. That's... Gavin, is that you? Magic Ga everywhere. Gavin? Lord Zyperius is saying open it and show. Open. Open. Okay, we're going to open it. Slam jam. Slam jam. Here we go. Nope. Nope. <laughs> we got our trusty little face there. We are always ready. That sound never gets old. <coughs> well, do you need some water, Chris? Uh, you can steal mine. Can grab some of these. Yes. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we don't lose them. Ooh, are we ready for this? I'm gonna do what you did, and like make, make a little like so then you can't see. The rest of them. We've got the that hedge walker. Hi, hedge walker. Look how regal. Looks so good. So much regal. Look at that. Look at that stance. That posture. He's just walking. Swag. I wonder if his name is Christopher. <laughs> uh oh, I haven't seen this. We haven't seen this one yet. Ah. The Rose Thorn Acolyte. It's a mana do dork. Mana dork. It's a mana dork that also lets you filter for mana. Beautiful. Ooh. Da -da. Looks like it's time for some fairy godparents! Oh my god. Because it's a fairy godmother. Yes. Yes, we know. 
The amount of fairy <laughs> chat, you don't know this, but the amount of Damn. fairly odd parents jokes that my office has had to endure with me in this set is no. Unreal. You know what's funny is I think that most of us know and enjoyed that show. It's oh yeah, but I just keep of... like running these jokes oh, in the ground. That's true. Wait, weren't you guys telling me this crazy, creepy thing about how they're trying to make a remake and he's going to be an adult? Oh, they didn't. They're not trying to. They made that movie. Oh wait, that's actually that made. Exists. That exists in the real yeah, world. Yeah, that's a live action oh. fairy odd parents movie. Oh, I'm going to pretend. Can I go back to pretending like it doesn't exist? No. <laughs> oh. No. Ignorance is ruined oh. forever. I don't know. <laughs> Just draw cards, lose life, all the things that you want to do. Ooh, I like this card vision. a lot. Okay. It's expensive, but it's great in draft. Beautiful. <laughs> it exists and did very poorly. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. The king would die for the realm. Oh, Sometimes you just want a 4-1 that can be a 5-2 that swings when you put it down. But, like, can we talk about paladins for a moment? Can we just talk about paladins? Do you have strong feelings on paladins? I have really strong feelings. I don't want to offend anyone in chat. Don't be offended, chat. You have strong feelings on paladins? I have real strong feelings about paladins. So, careful like with the some cards. of you. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm being very careful with the cards, I promise. Uh, like some of you, I play the Dungeons and Dragons. It's a little game made by the same people who make Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. The Dungeons and Dragons. The and D's and D's. I, uh... I play, I've played in some campaigns with paladins, mm -hmm. and why are they always detecting evil? It's like that's all they do is detect evil, and I'm like, can we just move on? Especially if you have a half demon in your group and they're always detecting evil, you're like, can we move on? Can we move on from the detecting evil? Now, you haven't given us a lot of context, but I think I can infer a couple things here. One, that half demon might have been one of your characters. No. Okay. <laughs> Like I but said, fair. Uh, the second thing is, is you'd like to just keep moving and stabbing things. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. All right. Getting away from more, the uh, really murder track I'm in D&D. &D. I mean, oh, this is awesome. Uh, I'm more of an arrow shooter because I'm always a ranger. I just finished playing a minotaur that was a copy of an anime mm, character, and it was a good time. Oh, bards for life, yo. Talk your way into and out of every situation. You know, I've always wanted to be a bard, but I've never had the courage. I punched rocks. That's what I did. <laughs> Ooh, I love Falmire Knight. Yeah. I love this card. Death touch. Just value death touch blocker, That's but so also right. maybe you want to draw a card and lose a life at instant yeah. speed. So Jordan, I've never heard this story, and since we're... Looking at cards <coughs> and chatting, just mm -hmm. a little chat. Mm -hmm. How did you discover Magic the Gathering? Uh, funny enough, from actually one of our affiliates. Uh, about, oh my god, uh, six years ago now? Ooh, another Order of Midnight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love this card. Six years ago, I found a Lone Ready Run video Friday nights back from the old stuff. And so that, that looked funny. I remembered Magic. I also used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh God, I'm sorry for my past self. It's okay, people can play Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, they can, but that, those game rules are rough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ooh, another variety of Queen of Ice. Ooh, Look ooh, at this one. I like this one a lot. Look at this one. This one's very good. So we, for those of you who are just joining us, we had a different variety. Uh, what was the We had the normal foil, normal we had the pack foil, foil okay, Queen yeah. of Ice. Now we've got the storybook, storybook Queen of Ice. Storybook Queen of Ice. Yes. Get it, Queen? Yes. I love that. So, yeah, and that's when I started playing Magic, and then I moved out here, and I played a lot more Magic, because so I how did, close. So, how did you decide, find Card Kingdom? Uh, Leah Planeswalker Society, actually. Really? I had several friends that were in or started it. Oh! oh. Hey, what up, oh. Beast Castle? Oh! It's the Dance of the Mance. It's an, It Dance helps you get enchants in pants, and it puts your opponent in a trance because they're dying from it. Yeah. I, when you when you play this card, you have to like dance it onto dance, dance. dance it depends on dance, dance, how dance, energetic dance. you are ooh, and if ooh, you're winning ooh, or not. Because if you're winning that's already, true. you don't want to do that. No. It's just, but if you're just having fun, just BM. If you're just having fun. So. Oh, maybe, sweet. That is sweet. Nice castle. Nice castle. Castle Gambry. Foil, foil, foil. Yeah. Uh, and then of course we got rats. Oh, and rats. Food. The perfect combination. Oh. Always want rats with oh. your food. Um, so you found... Lords of Furious, this is all your Yeah, cards. this is all yours. Um, you found Card Kingdom through Lady Planeswalker Society. Yes. Very cool. And through sponsorship of several individuals at that time. Because mm. our affiliates are very good at getting even employees to... The amount of employees we have at Card Kingdom that found us because of Magic Affiliates talking about us is hilarious. 
A lot of the people who work for us are also our customers. Yeah. I think most of the people that work for us started as customers. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, Chris over in the corner, same deal. I've known Chris a long time, but I was in—I used to be an obnoxious customer, and then I started working there. <laughs> yeah, I was in banking and started to not want to be in banking, and we needed people to pack cards, and I started packing cards. Mm-hmm. I did that for a while. I started the marketing department. Woo! Yeah. It's fun. Then, fun times. It was a good time. Yeah, I, I discovered Card Kingdom. In 2012, when the no 2011, when did the Ballard store open? 2011. 2011. 2011. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, and my dad and I used to go in to the restaurant. Oh yeah, I shouldn't open it yet. Yeah, we gotta see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like so excited. Um, my dad and I used to go into the restaurant all the time and play magic together. Because uh, for those of you who don't know, Mox Boarding House, we have <laughs> we have a restaurant with our retail, so you can do <laughs> full experience. So you can just game and eat, and it's awesome. And so my dad and I would go in there and just hang out, play magic, and argue. Yeah, the concept of going to do a draft and then taking one of the rounds to the bar was a very so unique cool. and exciting experience <laughs> that still doesn't get old. No. Especially now that we can do 20 We were like, I'm an adult. Yes, I will have an alcoholic drink with my game. The first time we could do 21 plus pre-releases yeah. with the new changes was yeah. awesome. Yeah, people were pretty It was so about much that. fun. All right, you want to do this one? All right, uh, let's see if Claw Carver... You can't see this. There you go. Looking at chat. Mer, mer, mer. Mer, I'll just put it in front of my face. Clark Carver. Nah, it's Clark Carver. Clark, Clark Carver, Carver, are you there? You hanging out? Do you want us to open this pack, or do you like to get the mystery? Clark Carver. If it's the mystery, we'll need to get a new Woo, pack. You want? Open this one. <laughs> um, open. Yeah. Said open. Oh yeah. I think almost everyone is saying open because that's it's fun. that's the fun. Thank you for allowing us to open them. You get to see what kind you of mysteries. Yes. So we will open this pack. This pack. Which pack? This pack. Well, if I can get the top. There we go. Being the most careful I can. We're being very careful with your cards. Because these are your cards. It's all being done off screen because then I can be more careful. Okay, there we go. So we've got our big friend, Rose Thorn Acolyte. We got our Mana Dork again. So shiny. So shiny. And then we've got some Fairy Odd Birds! Oh no. So we got the Fairy Godmother. In Ziphoil. You know, some people like three boating oh, fruit, no. but I really prefer four boating fruit. It's delicious. Draw cards, gain life, or lose life. Pack of horses. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, not that kind of play. Then we've got this Unexplained Visions in Le Foyal. Le Foyal. Le Foyal. And Emberth Paladin. We got another, oh, it's your favorite paladins. Now, Tara, do you want to talk about paladins for a sec? <laughs> do you know what I think about paladins? Let me tell you another thing about paladins. Moving right along, we got a squire here. <laughs> so if you get an adventure, squire gets big. It's a totally fine bear. 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 What is this? <laughs> Simba. That was very Luke. Simba. All I can think of is Darth. Mufasa. Well, like, there's actually a, so it shows, it's tough to see on this camera, but you can actually see, there we go, at that light, it's the kid looking out to see themselves as a knight. So I very much think of Mufasa in the clouds there. That's fair. For the once in future. Uh, I believe this was a misprinting. It's actually supposed to be 1337 Headhunter, where the A's are fours. That also, that so art, elite. the art, the art. Oh, it's dark and art. That would explain so it. So beautiful. Darkens awesome. So good. And then we've got uh, the set of 2001 A Knight's Tale. Mm. It's the Tournament Grounds. Mow mow. A Tri Land for Knights. I will say, so, um, I, when I found out about this set, I kind of legitimately freaked. I was like, this is the best set I've ever seen ever. Yeah. Um, I have my uh, Masters in Medieval Studies. Very relevant, obviously, for marketing. Definitely, I use it all the time. All the time. But I, like, tweeted at Gavin. I was like, Gavin, you know I studied the medieval histories? Like, this, like, give me, come on, come on. Like, let me use something. This is when we start getting desperate to get an ogre-related card because of how many Shrek jokes we've made on social media. Oh, gosh. Unfortunately. Wait, there's a master's for that? <laughs> 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 ha, 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 ha,
higher education? <laughs> Fair question. The answer um, may surprise you. It's yes. I was going to do my PhD, and I thought I was going to be a professor, and then I realized, not for me. <laughs> How many um, degrees do you yeah. need? So it was really fun, though. Like, honestly, so much fun. I had a great time. I loved it. So much Latin translating. Good Claw Carver, it's their birthday today. They're <gasps> 25 today. Well, congratulations, Claw Carver. Claw Harp- Carver, that's amazing. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ooh, okay. We got some fun cards coming down oh, the line. Oh, good birthday present. I we love it. Okay, we're going to con- continue lines. on. So we've got our Merchant of the Veil. Vale. Like I said, the world's worst merchant because it just like gives you the stuff before any hand. Or it's kind of tough to read. Is it the transaction that makes you discard? Is it they're just throwing away their wares? I don't know. What's not difficult to understand is just how good this card is. Also, this is the storybook art of Tactician, which we haven't seen yet. Just a good old griffin. Gorgeous. I wonder if his name is Peter. That seems like a nice griffin name. Yeah, Peter Griffin. Oh <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh my God! I can't believe I I didn't see that at all, and I'm really ashamed. I'm like seriously ashamed of myself. Uh, oh, Jordan. It's okay. I'll get smited later. I guess in this case it's smitten. <laughs> oh, so close. No. Oh dear. The smitten sword master. Oh dear. And then we've got something I wasn't expecting to see, but I remembered that uh, brawl deck cards can be in here because it's just a command tower. So this goes in every commander deck, I see. and this art is awesome. I love this one. But um, looking ahead here, I'm actually gonna ooh, ooh, ooh. skip yeah, a card. Skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. To show off, this is the end. So you got a foil sorcerer spyglass. This is gonna be br- not so much a limited bomb, but be... like pretty good in construction formats. It's gonna be a really good birthday present. Yeah, and your birthday present is this human token. No. Okay, I'm sorry. It's a full border ember cleave. Yay! <laughs> Little better. Little bit better. Yes, noise indeed. Happy birthday, Claw. Oh, there we go. So yeah, Claw Carver, you've got an Ember Claw. It's Ember Claw. Happy Cleave. birthday, Claw Clipper. <laughs> Carver, Claw Carver. I know you say yeet, but I will not yeet these cards. We're not going to yeet them. We're um, going to keep very good care of don't them. Don't call me on my yeeting bluffs because I will yeet things into the sea when asked. We are close to the sea. I can go and do that. Not right here. I have a car. I can go yeet things into the sea. It's not hard for me to do that. He makes a good point. Oh, no, it's just the terror show, apparently. Hi, everyone. I'll be right back. Just here by myself. Do, 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 do. For those of you just joining us, hi, I'm Tara. I'm the marketing director at Card Kingdom and Mox Boarding House. Uh, and we're celebrating our birthday. For those of you who have already been here for a while, I'm sorry I have to go over this again, but I want to make sure that Pretend new people, you're not hearing yeah, this. that new people are like understanding what we're doing. So for those of you who are just joining us, we're celebrating our 20th anniversary by giving you cards, beautiful cards from these packs, collector packs, 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 packs. Um, the set is so much fun, so awesome, so many new things and so many new cards. So it's kind of feels like a very celebration type pack to use to celebrate our birthday. Oh yeah, because. God, we're old. So thank you, wizards, for our birthday present. <laughs> Woo! Uh, and we're also celebrating by giving away these beautiful jackets. Oh, look at that nice jacket there. You too can be a magical oh. person, hat not oh. included. Oh. Uh, and, you know, even if you don't win some of these cards or a jacket, if you order from us this month, you'll get this awesome squirrel token. Look at that cute little dude. Isn't it? Beep, beep. It's a foil. I don't know if you can see it very well in here. Yeah, so we went and made our own foil tokens. Yeah. Uh, Happy the birthday to back us. design is incredible. The squirrel design is incredible. The foiling is amazing. Perfect. It was so cool to open up several boxes of these things Thanks, and see Jordan. thousands of tokens. It was a really cool. And uh, then, oh. The nice thing is also, is we do have a lot of packs to give away, mm-hmm. but you know, we do have a limit on today's giveaways. Yes. However, this anniversary isn't just today. No. It's all month long. All month. So coming up in terms of other streams, we've got an AMA with the founders. founders. We've got the Chalice Charity event to top it all off. But throughout the month, we are also doing giveaways nonstop on our social media accounts it's for true. jackets and booster boxes. So stay tuned to Card Kingdom for all of the things we're giving away to celebrate how old we are. <laughs> and we're also ending the celebration by giving back to the community with our Magic the Gathering themed charity tournament, The Chalice. So make sure you look, donate to your favorite creator, and I think somebody just magically 
Yeah. Maybe up here. I think someone appeared, and I think I'll shift to the right here. And Maybe allow if I magically. Oh, hello, Tara. So good to see you. Hi. Hi. So good to see you. I know it's been ages. It's been a whole uh, <laughs> whole couple days. Forty eight hours. Yeah. I know. Thank you for joining us oh, for our I'm birthday so, celebration. I'm so excited to be here. Happy birthday, card game, Thank you. I'm oh, pretty stoked. I, I mean, it's it's hard to believe this has been in our lives for so long. I mean, I I, I remember like you know, when the first store opened up, and that was already ten years into it or so, oh right? Gosh. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's uh it's been a wild ride. So how has the uh, collector booster opening been so <gasps> it's far? It's been wonderful so far. We've been pulling names. Okay. And we're letting people decide if they want us to open their packs for them on stream. Or if they want to close it and like open it later. And so far, people have been mostly wanting the packs open, which has been pretty fun. We've opened all of them except one. Yeah. I think the We didn't give that person a chance. Yeah, we didn't give the chance. It's <laughs> like you won. Well. It's like you won. You take this. Yeah. But I think the biggest standouts have been an Embercleave as well as a foil, pack foil once upon a time. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So that's nice. the big one right now. But we just need some beautiful cards out of this yeah. set. Yeah. I mean, one of the cool things about these boosters is I feel like. Yeah, there's a lot of rules about what you can get in them and so on and so forth. But whenever you open it up, it's just a pile of awesome. Oh my right? gosh. You get all these foils, yes. you get these awesome frame yes. cards, you get your extended art yes. card. It just it feels so good. Every little moment is a moment of delight. Ah, yeah. We want to inspire joy, it's, right? We're, it's, um, it's, it's that. It's joy throughout the whole thing. Absolutely. We spark a joy. Is that what we're supposed to say now? Well, that was the last set. Uh, that, that was a couple sets, sets ago. That was a couple sets, yeah. Uh, every, every set. Oh no, Chris, spark. when did we make that Marie Kondo Photoshop? Uh, well, oh, you no. actually did this. Yeah, we you already did. did. Okay, I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Well, well, more of the spark joy. Well, more of the, the spark. The spark. Jo oh, that's that's good. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we're just fans. Uh, you are awesome fans. I appreciate this so much. <laughs> um, okay. So and this what, is the squirrel token. This is our squirrel get, token that we're right, giving now, away. And if you if you uh, you go to Card Kingdom and you get some stuff, right? You get one yeah, of these bad every ones. Order, every oh, order. Every order. It's so cute, isn't it? So cute. It's one of those things you're like. It looks like this. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Oh, you're going to go one of those. I love magic. Yay. Wow. That's, that's my best That's squirrel what working at Wizards is like, actually. I'm kind of like that every day. Just, I love it here. I imagine that's how it would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just have squirrels running around the building. <laughs> well, that's why Mark Rosewater loves them so much, actually, is they're just everywhere at all that's times. That's how they deliver their messages. A lot of stuff is very secret. They can't let it get leaked. It's not Harry on... Potter. <laughs> It's email. You can't trust email. Squirrels, you can trust. Yeah. They, they bury a message away, and then nine months later, they dig it up. It's actually how we store all of our product, is it's all underground, and the squirrels, like, just... Speaking of that, out. how long did this set take to make? Throne of Eldraine? Yeah, so I, when it, we make a magic set, it takes a really, yeah. really long time, Yeah, I don't time, think people right? realize, like, how many years these... Sometimes. Yeah. Years, right? I mean, even, even once you get past, like, okay, Mark Rosewater's had this idea for ages, mm -hmm. we start designing the set like two and a half years before it even comes out. And we start off in this like early exploratory design yeah. stage where we go in and we try and figure out what are the top line themes going to be, right? Are we yeah. going to do fairy tales this time around? Right. Are we going to do Camelot this time around? How is that going to be, going to be represented right. on a card? And then from there, it goes into a design process after about <coughs> three to four months, goes into mm -hmm. his design process. We start actually like iterating and coming up with, okay, these are real mechanics we're going to start using. Here's some early card designs. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I think of it as like um, you're painting the canvas a little yeah. bit, right? You're like slowly like creating stuff on a canvas. And then after that, you hand it over to the um, to the set design portion mm -hmm. of everything, and that's when they really start crafting that like that into a masterpiece. Feel and the art and stuff, and because I mean, I, it, it blows my mind. Just like you're like, do you just have like blank cards that you draw with sticky notes to like design like this, like how to make sure that all the powers and everything work together? Because you you know you don't have art to be inspired by necessarily. Yeah, yeah. You know, I should have. I, I wish I thought I should have brought some playtest cards next time. I have to bring okay, them and okay. show them off. Remind me. But it's a uh, it's wild. I was actually talking to someone about this today. When I got to Wizards eight mm -hmm. years ago, it's actually you, you're all celebrating an anniversary here on stream. Eight years ago, next week is my eight, uh, anniversary at Wizards. So I've been Aww. there for eight years now. Happy um, anniversary! Thank you. Sorry, we had a request if you could sign Clockar Retournament Grounds. Yes. Aww. Absolutely. We conveniently have this pack ready to go. Which pack happily. is this? Is this, this the is birthday? This is the one we just did. Birthday kid? Yeah. This is, oh, oh, it's their birthday. Also, this uh, Sharpie's not working, though. So what? Give me, give me one. Yeah. Oh, I, I have one in my bag if you need one. It um, so when I got there, when we were to like build our own decks, mm -hmm. we have blank magic cards. They look like this on the back, yeah. but are just all white on the front. Yeah. And we would write all of our cards oh by hand gosh. for all of our decks. <laughs> Right? Oh my it was God. really onerous. Uh, flash forward eight years. Now we actually have a printer in house that prints cards for. Okay. Now, it's, now it's not like they don't look like so this. So you can type it up though. 
yeah. and so you have like a blank card but you type it up so yeah. you don't have to hand write and be like what did I say yeah yeah it was <laughs> let me tell you you really uh, disincentivized to build new decks yeah you're you like oh to, like, that one's pretty good one. that one's pretty good you, I think that's good you get invested you're like oh yes this deck is perfect that's my masterpiece that's my Picasso or whatever yeah um, and for a while you know for years and years we would print off our drafts like uh-huh. we would have stickers we'd be able to sticker on to stuff for drafts but when we, when we built constructed decks we would hand write them all so anyway that time is no is longer is there a vault where you keep all these things where do these things live? The shredder. They go, yeah, they go into the shredder. Um, now the historian in me is disgusted. N- right now, here's the thing, Tara. <laughs> Most people shred their decks. Um, I just pile them, pile them up on my desk, and I, I, I appreciate. I that. actually go through and um, uh, keep a lot of playtest cards. So yeah. I've got a binder I bring along to actually all the okay. events I spell sling at. It's like look at a bunch of cards and like That's how they beautiful. evolved through I time, love that. which is really really fun. People yeah. love flipping through it. Uh, this week actually at Wizards is deck a desk cleanup week. Actually, it's just tomorrow is desk cleanup day. But if you're me and your desk looks like mine does, it's desk cleanup week. So I spent all week like going through old play test cards and shredding them. Cause I'll have my entire desk is just oh covered gosh. in them. And so you I've can... been like pulling out my favorite cards from like Ravnica Allegiance and War of the Spark and whatever to to save. So oh my goodness, you know. hopefully that works. But it's a foil, so it could be tricky. No, no, this one works totally fine. Perfect. There you oh, go. Oh, I'm so glad. So it's their birthday today. So well, that's happy perfect. happy birthday. You've got a nice signed tournament grounds for you. What's this person's name? Claw Carver. Claw Carver. Well, happy, happy birthday, birthday. Claw Carver. However, I'm so glad you're here joining us for look, that's a tri- your birthday. It's a triple birthday. You have my yeah. anniversary, anniversary, you got your birthday, oh, you got your actual birthday. Yeah. That's, awesome. That's great. On that note, would you like to open some packs for people? I mean, I guess. Yeah, that sounds sounds all right. Let's do it. All right. So let's see here. Uh, Jordan, do you want to pick out? You want to sit here so you can have a better, because we're going to, the camera's over here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, That's absolutely. Crazy. I'll switch over. You know, and uh, I'll tell you a fun Gavin fact. A lot of people don't know this about me. Does the camera zoom in on your hands really close? It will once okay. you switch it. So you can uh, talk a fun right now. Gavin fact is um, most people don't know this, mm-hmm. but I did modeling when I was in college. <gasps> okay. Yeah, I was, um, did the modeling for a little while, and everyone always told me I'd be a great hand model. So now I'm finally getting to, to you're show that off and getting to do like, it. Yes, I do have multiple talents, people. Yes, I can do more than design magic. Oh, my hands are very strange. In that my um, all the fingers on this is another fun Gavin fact all the fingers on this hand are really long and all the fingers on this hand are really short. Mm. So if I like put my fingers together, oh. here are my two thumbs, right? Oh my gosh, you want to see something cool? I also have a weird hand. What? I have a finger that got cut off. What? If you're queasy, look away. Tara! <laughs> but if you're not queasy, pay very <laughs> close attention. It didn't just happen. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Whoa, so much that's wild! Look, 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 look at yours again too. Like, look, 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 look at this. Our little, little, Beep. Little. We're twinsies. Yeah. We have the same birthday and everything. We do. Like, oh, that's right. Speaking. Gavin and I have the same birthday. He's the only person I know with my birthday. So every year on Facebook, we, wish, we, we just wish each other, each other happy birthday. birthday. It's like, oh yeah, uh, around this time last year, I also <laughs> wish you happy birthday. Weird. Um, Okay, now you, so, know, you come for the you come for the stories, but you really stay for the magic arts. We all know. <laughs> I know. We're sorry. We're um, sorry. So future edict, future edit, future edict, future editor. What who is? What, how future. Do you, how do you want edict. to say it? Future, future dirt. dirt. Future, future dirt. dirt. Future. Oh, future, future dirt. dirt. <laughs> that future makes dirt. sense. You are dirt. our winner. Future dirt has already said, "Go ahead and open." Open. It. Woo! Right. Congratulations. Gavin, they're not going to zoom in, so you're going to just need to bring the card up towards yep, it. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. So let's go through this. So when you open a collector booster, a throne of Eldraine, we're going to go from, of course, the front to the back. Literal so, wizard so, touching your cards, future. Dirt. Yes. I will cast a spell. So you, you start <laughs> off with all these wonderful foils, and these are common or uncommon foils. You get nine, I believe. So we've got this eye collector. Nice. Yeah, and so one thing we tried to do, can I tell a little story Absolutely. about the Absolutely, we love, that's why we were hoping you would tell us stories. Perfect, so one thing we tried to do with Eldraine is try and get that kind of fairy tale stuff mm-hmm. going on here, right? And those kind of like fun childhood stories. But of course we wanted more like grim fairy tales so that mm-hmm. can be a little darker. And a fairy that runs around plucking eyes around, it feels a little more grim fairy tale. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's the story behind this card. Um, oh, gorgeous. We have a foil version of one of these showcase cards. I love, thank you, Tara. Mm-hmm. I love, love, love how these cards turned out. The storybook frame yeah, is so, so gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, this is this is nice. And this card I've actually heard um, some rumblings about being played in older formats too, as sort of oh, like okay. a insolent neonate. Um, it's played in some dredge decks right now, so this might be a playable playable too. And it's just it's gorgeous on top of it. Absolutely love that storybook feel. Merchant of the Veil, very nice. We've got a lonesome unicorn. Oh, what? that's our first one so far. Oh, I, 
once again, a great chance to show off those like fairy tale mm-hmm. tropes, right? A unicorn mm-hmm. is a thing we all think of when we think of storybooks. So this is this is fantastic. Love it. Gorgeous, a shiny unicorn. Shiny unicorn. Forever young. I want to be forever young. I want to be forever young. young. We, 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 we get 15 seconds before we get sued, right? So we got at least another 14 seconds left to go. Yeah, but um, if we got sued for musical references, Cartoon would be dead. We're doomed. <laughs> as long as we don't have the background music and they can tell it is not an actual copyright. So we sing out of tune. <laughs> All right, good. Well, with me, you're always singing out of tune. That's the good news. Uh, karaoke is not my strong suit. Um, this card, quite strong limited. It's, it's reminiscent of many other cards, but one mana cheaper. So, you know, you might put it in your commander deck or something like love that. Love it. It's great. Ah, oh, yes, the Smitten Swordmaster. I love this guy. It's great. I hold this in the right spot. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing it's great for a knight deck, um, of course. Yeah. You get to drain them for all the knights you control. And whenever we're building a set, we want to make sure there are really good common rewards to, for to reward whatever strategy you're going for. And if you're drafting a knight's deck, this is a great, great card to pick up. It's got that great new adventure ability. It's a two mana, two one, a life linker, but that also can, in the late game, just dome your opponent for a bunch of damage. So... Beautiful. Super cool. And who doesn't love a night of L draining? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what you're here for. And, and the artist on this... Um, Kevin, you're stuck with me for an hour. <laughs> I love puns. So I think that... I'm in Shakespearean. They're a high art form to me. Um, Taylor Ingvarsson actually did the art for this piece, and he is an art director in-house at Wizards. So oh, I, nice. I work with him every day. That's it's wonderful. Fantastic. Charm Sleep. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is... I love this one. It, it's delightful, and whenever we were talking about the set to people, we would always talk about how you, you get to build your own fairy tales, mm-hmm. and one of the ways is we would always show off Charm Sleep, and then like um, uh, the, the kiss, uh, True Love's Kiss, mm-hmm. as like, oh, you have to tell your own story, right? You put the mm-hmm. dragon to sleep, and you kiss the dragon, and it wakes up, and um, I, I love that tale. And yeah. It's, yeah, it's a claustrophobia variant, but it's so nice. Oh boy. Uh-oh. What do we got? Here we, what do go. we got? What do we got? It's time. It's time. You got to catch me on Ginger Brew. See if I'm across the screen so quickly. It's it's uh it's Ginger Brew. Uh I love this. This is delightful. It's a food. It's a it's a delicious gingerbread that creature and this is why she won the very first cards I talked a little bit earlier about the stages we go through of design. In um, exploratory design, this is one of the first cards that we made was the ginger brute, the gingerbread golem is what it was called, and uh, it made it all the way through, um, more or less. The only thing that changed actually is it picked up that last food ability. Someone decided to lay on, lay it on. Mm-hmm. Hey, he, sh- he should be food too. But um, the creature that can't be blocked except by creatures with haste is a very early design and made it all the way. So really, really fun. That's awesome. Also deceptively good and limited. Yeah. I've seen um, people try and build like even like vintage decks or legacy decks that will kill with this because it's an unblockable one mana creature, right? So you put it down, you pump it up on one turn, they die. That's awesome. Really fun. Speaking of food, here's a witch's oven. Nice. Bake things in the oven. I hear that um, the familiar that that uh, comes back in your sack of food is really good in the oven. So good work with that. Mm. And once again. <laughs> Yeah, right. Just bake your. Uh, can you imagine the witch just baking her cat over and over, and the cat keeps coming back? You're like, and I'm back. Yeah, I don't know oh, what the story is. We got there. a fairy tale from Stephen King. Mm. Yeah, well, all fairy tales are welcome here, which is oven, of course. Oh, and then the venerable knight. Yo. Oh, perfect. This is this is gorgeous. Human a great knight. Mm-hmm. One mana creature, and actually, this is, has a really remarkable art, art piece. I think for the set, and that it looks like a little more cartoony than some of our art normally does. Mm. And I love that we got a really good range of art for this set. It really helps capture that storybook feel. Yeah, because there's so many different types of art from that time period, too. So, Or time period. Mini time periods. The time period the of time now. The time period of now. Uh, so we, those are our nine nine foils. Now let's see what uh, what some of our showcase cards are. Oh, baby. You ready for this, Tara? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Show me, show me, show me. This is one of my favorite oh, art pieces in the yes. set. The Love Struck Beast. Truly, so beautiful. Truly, um, we'll, we'll say a tale as old as time on this one. <laughs> and uh, making a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. And then it can't attack unless you control a 1-1 one, one creature. Yeah, and this... This art piece is just absolutely stunning. Uh, no, now it's official. I, I think actually um, internally we do a thing where we poll people um, inside the building on what they think of all the cards after we finish them. Oh, interesting. So then we do it before we finish, of course, so we can right. tweak them and get thoughts. Right. But after we finish them, we do it again so we can figure out figure out what order we want to preview uh-huh. them in. And be like, oh, we should show this card off earlier or later or whatever. Um, this is a card in particular where we showed it off. I think this was maybe the highest or second highest polling uh, really? art piece in the set. People love, love, mm-hmm. love this piece. So. Well, it's a very powerful piece. Great work, you know exactly. You know exactly what's happening. So. Absolutely. We've got the Rimrock Knight. Mm-hmm. Now, a common this time around as opposed to the rare, but it's pretty The pretty art exciting. here is also awesome, though. Like, very, again, like you were saying, different 
Yeah, and in an aggressive red deck, mm -hmm. like a two mana three one that can also be a combat trick mm -hmm. is totally solid. We've got the Curious Pair, of course, our little riff on Hansel We've and Gretel. We've got a couple of those, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to get at least two, because it's Curious right. Pair. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Okay, now we're getting into the last few slots in the pack. All right. And this is where things get, get really exciting. So we're, this is our ancillary card slot. So this is a card from the Brawl decks or the Planeswalker mm -hmm. decks or... Um, uh, buy a box promo. We've got a rare, so that's super exciting. Dang. We've got Shimmer Dragon. <gasps> so, so this card appears from the Brawl decks. Yet another rare in this pack. So we're, we haven't even hit the last two slots yet, and we've, we've already got two rares. Oh, sorry. sorry. See, you guys are pros. Um, we've already got two rares, so that's pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked to have opened this up. Great in an artifact deck. It lets you tap two artifacts to draw a card. So, yeah, pretty, Great sweet, card. pretty sweet flyer. Mahamodi Jin's come a long way. Okay. Future Dirt loves it too, and these are your cards, so I'm glad you like it. Oh, so they're, they're in the chat they're talking the, with These us. are all people that are watching. Perfect, Future Everyone, Dirt. Yeah. I'm so glad you're excited. Okay, now we get to the extended art card that's in every pack, and here's Castle Embereth. Beautiful. Uh, now you're going to want a lot of these if you're playing standard. These castles are super powerful. Um, they're not legendary, and if you're playing a monocolor or two-color deck, these are almost free to put in your deck because they enter the battle field untapped if you have um, the appropriate land, including the Ravnica dual land, so it's pretty easy to do. And this this one pumps up your creatures, so this is a, a hot, hot, hot pull. Very nice. Sweet. And then last, but certainly not least, you get a foil, rare, or mythic rare. And sometimes it's extended art, and bam, check this out. Woo! Extended art foil escape to nice. the wilds. Wow. That it looks gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. I love how you you can kind of see it on on screen, but you'll see it even better future dirt when it comes to you in person that the the flame is really highlighted in that yeah. uh, in that portrait here. It looks really yeah. cool. Yeah. The, the camera doesn't do it justice. And this is um an awesome commander card. It's a way to in your red green deck to kind of draw five cards plus get an extra land. Um, so yeah, absolutely wonderful. Beautiful goal. card. And then of course it's topped off at the end by a foil token. The only place you can get foil tokens in Eldrain. We've got a fairy token on one side. And a food token on the other. Beautiful. Beautiful little pig, pig right there. So pig on out. That's a pretty good looking pack. That's I gotta say, pack. you got a, you got a bunch of rares. You got a foil, extended art rare. Um, you, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Good work, future dirt. You got a really future nice, dirt. really nice uh, collector booster here. Boom. Boom, indeed. And we'll we'll put that safely, safely into a shell. Away. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, Whoa. oh, I'm so nervous. Well, all right, oh. now back to uh, our faces, I guess, right? Or do we open Maybe. another pack? Boom! Oh, and with that transition, we are back. <laughs> Hopefully, Future Dirt, you enjoyed that pack. Um, and if anyone, you know, I'm here hanging out with Tara on stream here at Card Kingdom. If any of y'all have any questions out there in the chat, oh, yeah. too, about Eldrain or the Collector Boosters or anything else, fire them off. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you, Gavin. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. So feel free to just fire, fire away. So we'll look for your questions. And in the meantime, should we do another one? Uh, hey, Which one's first? I do love opening up booster packs. Kunashu. 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 Is that you? <laughs> Kunafu. Kunafu. <laughs> Kunafu. Uh, would you like us to open your pack, or do you want to keep it closed and you want to open it? Please let us know in chat. Are you here? Oh yes, Hello, Kunashu here. is here. Hello, Congratulations. Kunashu. Open. Surprising open. no one. Open the bag. Oh yes. All right. Well you then. You need to open this. I love opening booster packs. You're kidding, especially these collector boosters. It's so much fun. I love, I love that everyone. You know, sometimes you, you get people. You talk to Magic players, and they're like, "I want to keep my packs open. I want to put them in a vault. I don't yeah. want to ever touch them." I'm excited that this is the audience who's like, "Yeah, crack yeah. it live oh, on stream. Crack, crack, crack it live crack, on stream." Crack. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, and don't get your hopes up. I'm not doing it today. But sometimes I've got a supply of Italian Legends boosters I'll bring with me oh. when I go out spell slinging, and I'll give them to them to people. I'll be like, "Hey, hey, hey! Here's a pack. Thanks for playing. We had a really great game." And then I'm always like, "Open it up. Open it up. Open it up." And usually they just like put it in their pocket and walk away, you know. Like, so, Aww. so I, I want to know what's in there too. Yeah. So I'm glad you all want these open. It's, it's, it's really exciting. We have a question. For oh you. yeah, yeah. What's your favorite part in the design process of the set? Early design or brainstorming? Refinements or playtesting? Oh, there's so many, so many things. I gotta say. I've got two favorites. One is um, very self-serving, perhaps, and the and the other one is um, is specific. So I'll, I'll, the first one is my favorite moment. I Maybe mean, we can flash back to maybe my face, face for a second. second. We're, we're gonna wait. Or I can just talk with my hands really well. I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this. Bam! And with a click like that, we're back. We'll get back to you in a second, Kunashu. So um, I love 
when the art starts coming in mm -hmm. for cards that I've designed in particular because it's so cool to know that some random words I typed into a card file somewhere yeah. that an artist drew and represented. That's Magic. so awesome, right? It's yeah. like, it's the same feeling I imagine when like a director starts getting clips back from their movie script or when an animator or when a, you know, a writer starts seeing their animated movie come back mm -hmm. or whatever. It's a super cool feeling. Uh, my first card that I ever designed that got made was Havoc Festival from Return to Ravnica all the way back when. And it was so cool. I remember like every day I would refresh to see if a new sketch was in, if a new oh, sketch was in. Awesome. And even now when I design a card, Seeing, um, seeing the new cards come in or the new, the new art come in is amazing. So th yeah. th that is like a personal, really a powerful moment. Yeah. And then um, my other favorite moment is um, your first play test mm. of a new product. Mm -hmm. So you've, you've done some design work, you've got your first file together, maybe with Eldraine, right? You, you know it's gonna be fairy tales yeah. and knights and you've you know spent a few weeks designing cards and then everyone sits down for that first draft and yeah. you see like it all come together. And, and that first draft, it's, things are gonna change a lot from there, but it's right. so cool. Are you nervous? With that first draft, you're like, "What do people hate it? Oh do yeah, you have yeah. those butterflies." Well, you, you you're like, de "Don't like my cards, please." You, you definitely. Here's the thing about a first draft: you know that uh, almost everything is going to change at some point right. out of that first draft. Like right. maybe Ginger Brute will survive and nothing else <laughs> over the course of the entire set. Yeah. Um, but it's so exciting because you're going to get feedback. You're going to yeah. learn what works and what doesn't. And so often in your head, you're going to be in a meeting room and you're talking with all your fellow wizards. Yeah. And you're like, clearly this mechanic's perfect. I don't know what could possibly go wrong. And you sit down and draft and a game in, you're like, oh yeah, this was, was a disaster, not, right? You didn't think about that. Yeah, it's not gonna work at all. Because you know, you're human. Right. And like, and if you're all like, you know, you're all playing together and you're not seeing something else and then somebody's like, oh wait, did you think about that? You're like, oh no, we didn't, you know? And so, can't be perfect. Like I remember in, I mean, it's a little while back, but in a Shadows over Innistrad, mm -hmm. if you remember, we ended up with Delirium as a mm -hmm. mechanic that you used, right? Where you wanted to get four different card types into your graveyard. Um, but what we started with way back at the beginning was milling your opponent, and you were trying to, mm. to get your opponent to seven cards in their graveyard. Oh. It was like a reverse threshold, right? So instead of trying to get yourself to seven, you would get them to seven. Mm -hmm. But and on paper, we're like, we, we, we drew up all the cards, and it sounded really yeah. great. We're like, oh wow, it's so smart. But what we didn't even account for it at all is that it would make your opponent terrified to play their own cards. Because oh. anytime you played an instant or sorcery, you were just adding to their account. Right. So like you would you would get to this point in the game where neither player wanted to cast it their was spells. Just like, you go. Yeah. No, you're like, you go. Yeah, I don't want to put you it go. in my graveyard. And it's the kind of thing that sounds so good on paper. Yeah. And then you go and play it and you're like, yeah. oh, this is oh. actually horrible. Right. Um right. so the theory of magic. Right. So I people always ask me, well is, is magic like a science or an mm -hmm. art or what is it? And it really is a mesh of the two. There's mm -hmm. You can line up things perfectly on paper, mm -hmm. and it can be no fun to play, mm -hmm. and something can sound really fun to play, yeah. but not ba be balanced properly. And finding right. that, that, that mix balance of the two. That balance is so hard. I don't envy your job at all. Like well, that, yeah. And, well, you know, everyone's a critic. Which is why um, I feel like computers aren't going to take over my job anytime soon. No, someone's I don't think so. Someone's always like, do you just, Gavin, do you just have like the master spreadsheet of like, you just put in this power People toughness. Bop, and, yeah, and then <laughs> boop, a card comes creature. up. Yeah, I, I need, need to it. like push my generating creature. Tarmogoyf 2. Right, right. Tar well, that one's easy. I can come up with Tarmogoyf 2. You just add a mana to it. Um, but. <laughs> done. Feature Sight 2, we're, we're one step one closer. Cannon. Yeah, one step closer. I, feature site is maybe my favorite set of all time, so I love designing those wacky yeah. feature site style cards. Okay, anyway, more stories later. All For right, now, I right. think Kunishu has been very, very so patient. patient. Uh, someone out there will hopefully keep track of all the questions that uh, have been on, on the docket. We're going to open up another collector booster. So let's see what's in these this, this one. All right, Kunashi, are you ready? I think we're ready. All right. Goodbye, wrapping. We'll put this over in the wrapper graveyard. Pew. Let's see what we got. We're going to start off with something really hot. Let's see it. It's time for one of the hottest cards in hot, the whole hot, set. Hot. This is going to be a pawn, isn't it? Scorching Dragonfire. Yeah. Oh. It's so hot. Oh, it's, it's delightful. It's so hot. It's so, so hot. hot right now. Gr uh, great little removal spell. Solid and limited. Also, it's got this flavor text that I love. I love these little mini stories you have to tell on the cards. I love the flavor text. I feel like, uh, you know, sometimes people like just skim right by that and they don't, they're not capturing the full feel of the set. There was, uh, you know, there was a time in my magic career where I was like, yes, I don't care about flavor. I just want... Creature number 76 to, to turn <laughs> sideways and deal damage to creature number 77 or whatever. And then when you start playing at Wizards and you start realizing that sometimes the cards don't have flavor, or often our cards don't have art, in yeah. fact our cards almost never have art till the very end, you realize just how important that art is. Yeah. Um, a few weeks ago I tweeted out a deck from Ravnica Allegiance, a playtest deck that I found on my desk, and uh, everyone's like, how do you play with this? There's no mm. art anywhere. Like, mm. That art is so important. Yeah. Anyway, flavor is great, and um, after you scorch your flavor, your food and dragon fire, it'll be even more delicious. Okay. Um, yeah. 
gorgeous. We've got a Garen, a Garen Brig Carver. This is in that wonderful frame. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. Oh, I love mm. how the foil on this looks. You get that, the um, mm -hmm. all the little pendants in the background mm -hmm. kind of glistening a little bit. Very nice. Beautiful. Lockthwain Gargoyle. Oh, cool. Another one of those um, kind of flavorful, this sets all about that fairy tale flavor. And gargoyles, of course, not just a cartoon, also great for uh, that fairy tale flavor. Oh, so. so callback. I remember. I miss that cartoon. Whatever happened to that cartoon? Like all good cartoons of the 90s, it was too good for its time. Oh, period. bring it back. Wow. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you all as people uh, apparently getting sued by Disney or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, Insatiable Appetite is right here. Uh, good in, in your food deck. You can pump up your creature plus five, plus five if you have a food. Super delicious. Awesome. Okay, now here's another classic card for this set. So, Trapped in the in the Tower. Oh, yeah. This is like a pacifism effect. Oh. It, it clearly tells like a Rapunzel-esque mm -hmm. story, right? Someone t trapped in a tall tower. And this is another card when we were pitching the set around to people, we would always use as an example of like, okay, you can put this up in the tower, mm -hmm. and then the fairy godmother comes, mm -hmm. and you're <laughs> flying, and the enchantment falls off. Mm -hmm. So it's this really, really cool flavor, and you, once again, it lets you um, kind of tell your own tell your own fairy tale stories, which is exciting. Jurassic Paul says, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah, you and me both, Jurassic Paul. I've got dinner plans after this, so I'm, I'm so excited. Jurassic Paul, your name is also almost like my favorite movie, Jurassic Park, so yeah. props well, to you. Also one of my favorite movies. It's so good. How did you manage to get Jurassic Park on this stream? Every stream Did you it. to get this in. She, she, she paid off Jurassic Paul to come onto the stream <laughs> today. It's a, it's a great... Uh, I see your name. It's a... It's a Ooh, gigantic thing. Beautiful. Yeah, Lost Legion is here. Three mana, two, three. When it enters the battlefield, you get to scry two. And once again, the foil on this is just gorgeous. You get that, uh, that sp I always find sp uh, spirits mm -hmm. when they're in foil are particularly mm -hmm. gorgeous because yes. you get that great glimmer. Mm -hmm. Really fantastic. Okay, the Cauldron's gr uh, Gift. This features Adamant, a new mechanic from Throne of Eldraine. And a uh, nice little uncommon foil there for you. How do you, when do you decide to bring in a new mechanic? Like, what is the thought process behind there? Yeah, there's kind of two reasons why, why you might have a new mechanic. One is if, well, there's, I'll start with one. Okay. Which, which is, I'll start at the beginning, always a good place okay. to start. Which is, if we want to show off a set theme somehow. And with Eldraine, we wanted to try and play up monocolored a little mm -hmm. bit as a new thing we were doing. We haven't really had a true monocolored set before. Mm -hmm. And so at, we made Adamant as an incentive for you to play monocolored decks. Because mm -hmm. if you get three mana of a single color, it makes your Adamant spell even better. Um, the other time is if we think the set needs something, if it's kind of missing something. Yeah. So, for example, um, sometimes we'll, we want a mana sync mechanic. This is something that lets you use your mana really late in the game. Um, and a good example of that is Adventure, where it means mm -hmm. that late in the game you still have stuff you can do. So if, hey, we've been playing the game for a while, going back and forth, and um, you know we've, we're out of cards in our hand, there's still something for me to sink all 10 of my mana or whatever I have into. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's where stuff like adventure or monstrous or abilities like, like that come from. So it kind of just depends on either what the set needs um, to function well or what we think the set needs to help incentivize you to do certain things. Okay. Adamant is a great example of the, of the latter where we want you to play a monocolor deck and uh, give you a little incentive to do so. So there you I go. I love, yeah, that new addition of the monocolor packs too. I think that's really smart. Oh, the, the theme boosters? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. We started that back as a test in Dominaria and continued it in Guilds of Ravnica. And so, yeah, now you can go and just buy a monocolor. You want a bunch of black cards, go and buy a theme booster. In fact, mm -hmm. one of my favorite ways to just play casually, and I see some people doing this, but I'll let everyone on stream know, um, is if you go buy a theme booster, what you get is 35 cards of a single color, or cards that can go in, in a single color deck. So, let's say black cards. If you just go grab 25 swamps and yeah. shuffle them in, you can just play a game right away. So, I love, like, hey, I'll grab a theme booster, you grab a theme booster, go get your land. shuffle in 25 yeah. lands and play, and it just works. That's awesome. And, and it's, I love playing it blind where you don't know what's in it. Yeah. So, you can shuffle up there, you might get a rare or two, right? It's, it's really good fun. Good old kitchen table magic. Yeah, it feels super fun. Highly recommend it. Uh, okay. The edge wall innkeeper is here. So speaking of incentives, this is we like building in these kind of uncommon mm. cards that tell you to build certain kinds of decks. Mm. And um, this says whenever you cast a creature with adventure, you draw a card. Mm -hmm. So one of the strategies you can do in this set is, of course, build an all-adventure deck or heavy adventure deck. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect for that. You play it on turn one, you start adventuring cards and can tripping through your deck as you do it. It's fantastic. Future Dirt says, our play group makes heavy use of the theme booster. It's one of the best products ever. Wow, awesome feature. That's so great to hear. Yeah, we're yeah. trying, you know, what we realized about a couple years ago now is for basically Magic's entire history, we've had one kind of booster pack. We've had yeah. this, the same 15, sometimes 8 in the old days, card booster pack. Well, you know what? 
the odds that we got it right the very first time are really small, right? Yeah. We probably just didn't crack it back in alpha, so we should try out other things. And of course, that original booster pack is so important to us, but trying things out like this collector's booster they're opening up right now, or the theme booster, mm -hmm. you know, targeting different player segments is really, really important. Um, and so you're gonna keep us, you're gonna see us keep trying to experiment, not only with boosters, but in other ways to see what the best kinds of ways to make products are. Of course, don't worry, normal, normal booster's not going anywhere. Okay. Um, the draft Good booster, very important. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try out some new exciting stuff. Uh, okay, Drown in the Lock. Perfect, perfect. So this is a, a really solid removal spell. I've seen this show up in standard deck lists and even a little bit of talk about modern. Yeah, that's um, interesting. Let's get it's both, it's both, yeah, it's both a counter spell. Oh, check out yeah. that. Yeah, it looks so good. That, that piece there. It's both a counter spell and a removal spell, and it keys off the number of cards in, um, in your opponent's graveyard. So you want to mill your opponent out a little bit or play it a little later in the game, it can counter or destroy almost anything, which is cool. And that foil is pretty nice. It, you get the great feeling of um, kind of that 3D effect of, hey, there's someone beneath the water being pulled down. I have a few more questions for you. Okay, I'll, so we've got, gone through the foils. Sorry. We'll take a break for the questions, then I'll um, oh, continue looking. What do you do to come up with your ideas for cards? Oh yeah, do we want to go back to faces for a second? Oh sure, sorry. And then, all right, we'll take, take a brief break. Thank Boop. you. Oh, hello. Nice. Look, it's us again. Oh, hi. I love the drama we're doing with Kanashu's pack here. We go yeah. through nine of the cards. Yeah. And we'll save break. save the next exciting bit for uh, for the next segment. Okay. So how do we come up with ideas for cards? How do you? How do I come up with you, ideas for Gavin. cards? You, Gavin. Wow. Yeah. Well, for me, it starts in one of two ways. There's kind of what's called top-down design and bottom-up design. And my favorite cards to make are the top-down cards. Mm -hmm. And what a top-down card is, is you, you start with a flavorful idea. Mm -hmm. And then you build a card from there. You're like, okay, what what would this thing be? For example, you know, here's an example from Kanashi's pack, Lock the Wayne Gargoyle. You might start with this card with a gargoyle and say, okay, what does it mean to be a gargoyle? How do you make a gargoyle card? And in this case, a lot of things start falling into place. It's a creature that can't attack all the time, mm -hmm. right? It's gargoyles are classically like there's stone. They're stone, you, you can't see water. them. But then at some point, the top becomes dark or they get watered on, depending on the story you're reading, whatever. Um, and they come alive and start attacking. And so in this case, you mm -hmm. face some mana and it can start getting in there. So mm -hmm. this is kind of the, where the idea might come from of, okay, it's a top-down design, you're building a gargoyle. I love that. The other way is bottom-up, and that's where you need something mechanically and you um, type out a card. Like to it, fill in the rest of your designs? Right, okay. so you need like a card for a set. Let's say you're like, hey, we need a removal spell. It could be anything, we just mm -hmm. need a way to kill off a creature. Mm -hmm. So you type in what you want your removal spell to do, and then at some point further down the line, the creative team thinks, okay, what could this be, right? What is this going to be on this world? And that's how you might get something like Drown in the Lock. Mm. Drown in the Lock to me is a classic example of a very mechanical bottom-up mm -hmm. design because it's us being like, hey, um, this is a card that counts your opponent's graveyard and it either kills a creature or counters a spell. It's like not really, right. it's not, no easy fit for right, that. Right, right. So then the, the creative team is like, okay, well, how can we, we represent this on this world? And they start thinking, okay, it's blue and black. What's well, blue and black? Mm -hmm. Well, water and the lock, and there's merfolk there. And then you get to this this card. Yeah. Idea. So that's how you know, kind of all of our cards feel flavorful, even though they start in <coughs> very different places sometimes. And it really does take a whole team for all these all the elements yeah. to work together. Yeah, I mean, and really, yeah. hats off to the creative team who makes a set like Eldraine Sing so well, where every card feels like its yeah. own little story. Yeah. Um, great work to create. Love it. That's a, thank you for that. No, yeah, for sure. Should, should we go should back we to the pack? One or, yeah, one more question, and then we'll go back to the pack. Um, All right. Or do you want to pick one? I don't, let's see. Okay. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> all right. Or, I'll, I'll, let's see that one, or let's see. Oh, there's so many questions. I know. I tell you, how about we finish out the pack, okay, we'll and then we'll just come first. back and run yes. through all these Sounds questions. Good. So let the questions build up a little bit. We're gonna oh. go get through Kanashi's pack because I know Kanashi was so excited. Kanashi, you, yeah, you we're gonna tell, get the rest of your You cards. can tell that, that their name is just brimming with anticipation here. So, okay. Next up, we've got Rose Thorn Acolyte and this gorgeous border. I mean, I just, I love, I just wanna play with all of these, right? Um, and even the commons, which might not make my deck a lot of the time, I'm tempted to go put in a commander deck or something. I love that art too. Yeah, this is a great, a great limited creature, but also like, you know, it's it's a it's a fine way to wash your mana. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous, great as a way to cantrip through with like Edgewall Innkeeper or the the Lucky Clover that will get you mana. So that, that's super cool. Oh, our unicorn is back and prettier than ever. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this piece so much. So gorgeous. And uh, yeah, Elena Danner knocked it out of the park, and I love just the storybook style you get to do on these cards. Um, we've got the Merfolk Secret Keeper. Once again. A nice little, uh, nice little common, but still absolutely gorgeous, and great for that mill deck. It moves your opponent mm -hmm. a little bit. 
Okay, now we're gonna get um, we've gone through these three. Now we're gonna get the ancillary card slot. And I mentioned right. earlier this is where you get a card from the Brawl deck or a buy a box promo mm -hmm. or a number of things. Now, there's been a lot of people who've been talking about a lot of these ancillary cards. Okay. But maybe one of the cards that's gotten, I would say, the most discussion okay. in the entire entirety of talking about this ancillary card slot is this. So uh, congratulations, get excited. You have an arcane signet on your hands. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, nah, that's, uh, th that's pretty exciting. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about how they want these out of the new Brawl decks that we launched with Throne of Eldraine. And um, yeah, those have been hard to come by. I know Card Kingdom ran out of them even very quickly. We did. Um, <laughs> We'd like to buy that card for this. <laughs> yes. So, um, so Arcane Signet, congratulations, Kanashu. You get an yeah, Arcane seriously, Signet. Yeah, seriously, Kanashu. Very nice. She what? will trade you Oko for it if you want. <laughs> so perfect, perfect. There you go. Wow, I'll, I'll leave that awesome. one in, in pristine condition right here. Uh, okay, now we get into the extended art slot in the booster pack. Nice. Sorceress Spyglass, check Ooh. this out. This is a great sideboard card. Multi-format all-star, played in modern, uh, played all the way back to Legacy, Vintage. It's really good at shutting off whatever your opponent has. It shuts off Planeswalkers really well, so if Oko's getting mm -hmm. you down, you can go ahead and Spyglass it. It's got great new art. That I love actually how the extension of the frame works here, because mm -hmm. the water goes all the way to the edges, right? So yeah. it really Not feels like- Not easy to do. Yeah, it's super, super cool. So love gorgeous. it. So awesome. And then finally, for your uh, foil, extended art, rare, foil. we've got the Acclaimed Contender. So perfect for your knight deck here. You've got a three mana, three, three, and you get to, if you have another knight, which let's just say you're going to, right? You're playing a knight deck, you got another knight. You get to look at your top five cards and take a knight, aura, equipment, or legendary mm -hmm. artifact into your hand. People always talk about how, um, they, uh, how in white needs more card drawing, more ways to get, to get cards, especially in Commander. This is a great way to do that. All you have to do is have a few knights lying around. And, Beautiful. Oh, what a gorgeous piece. And then, of course, last and Hello. certainly not least, you've got the foil token. You've got some rat to make ratatouille with or, or whatever it is that you do. Um, Wait. And then, it, yeah, ratatouille. That's what goes in rats, <laughs> That's right? Like, yeah. That's what goes totally. in this. Uh, I, in this, this set. Movie's more messed up than I thought. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, this gorgeous food token. Which is the other side. I think I also finally figured out where you need to hold the card so you can read them. It's right here. So now, hopefully, the next pack will be less blurry. Awesome. Oh, well, Thank Marzal, you. well congratulations yes, to Kanashu. Arcane Signet, some hot new rares, some great, exciting looking cards. I love it. Just a, just a burst of excitement in every pack. Delightful. Okay, I'm going to pack these up very carefully for you. And if, if you, for anyone who, out there who wins a booster, by the way, if you want me to like sign anything or kiss, we a, did have another or, person that asked for a signature. Or I, saw, I don't know, kiss right? one of your cards or whatever it is you there feel. There's somebody else in there that uh, wanted I will a signature. Do it. All right, well, oh, I missed it. If you, I saw if you, somebody. If you get it, I will. Uh, I'll happily do it before Does I leave. It, I saw a little. Bit. Clock Harbor also wanted the command power sign. <laughs> yes, any, or anyone you've already opened, uh, bring it back on yeah. over, and at some point I'll Thank sign you, it for Gavin. you. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, nice I'll, I'll warn you, my signature is not great. Okay, so you, I'm the guy that got held back from first grade for handwriting. Oh, so that's the worst. It was, it was the first worst. Of all, so handwriting is overrated. Yeah, well, I, I also have the worst handwriting. Yeah, that's when I got pulled out of school. Actually, that's, I said be homeschooled. Yeah, because so you're like, wow, this is ridiculous. Mom was like, that's a bunch of nonsense. So. I agree with your mother. Um, and it all worked out. All yeah, worked out. I think so. Uh, okay, so, so questions. questions. We had a bunch of questions. I will remember one, which was about oh, fort yeah. fortifications, because yeah. I was very excited to see this question. <laughs> I, I already said future sets are my favorite set of all, sets of all time. I love the one of fortification. Will we see it again? One of my goals at Wizards, like my long range goal, is to try and get every future shift site card that was in a future frame printed in a normal frame at some point. So stay tuned for Darksteel uh, for Dark Steel, um, Garrison, I believe is what it's called. I'd love to get that to you someday. So maybe, maybe someday we'll get that maybe and, and something else. Is better than a no. Yeah. So, I mean. I mean, it's definitely on the if to win Rosewater scale. It's definitely, right. definitely an if. Yeah. It's definitely an F, yeah. but uh, it's my personal quest to uh, get that printed for you. I like it. You. The if to win Rosewater scale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's well, see here. That's always a fun game people like playing is asking if something's going to, like, is it an if or a win? If we do this or, yeah, we're definitely going to do it. We're going to do win, that. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's a fun little game. Um, Let's see here. Have Can you... I drink this water, by the way? Yeah, is that's this for you. For... That's oh, for you. wow. Such, so, so kind. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, go for um, it. Have you drafted collector boosters before? How did it go? <laughs> wow, you're thirsty. Oh my god! He's you're actually a Merkel. Tell him that there's no bathroom and now you're All right, get out of here, water bottle. We don't need you. Um, next! Wait. Or am I supposed to go, like, bring me another? Or whatever. Um, anyway. Throw something. That's very on theme. Anyway, yes, uh, we have. I have drafted collector boosters. I'll say that I think the way that it works out the best yes. is when you draft two normal boosters and one collector booster. Mm -hmm. Because. Uh, 
I mean, it works. You can totally draft mm -hmm. three of these. It's it's pretty fun, but it's almost more fun to like augment your um, your the rest of your draft by having one bonus one in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can totally do it. Absolutely. And then you get yeah a little more rares running around. Yeah. Um, some, some extra, you get those ancillary cards, which pretty do, epic. Yeah, the ancillary cards are really fun too because those don't normally show up in draft boosters. Mm -hmm. So like you, you might get a shimmer dragon or something mm -hmm. that you would never normally get in an Eldrain draft um, that you could play with too, which is pretty fun. That's awesome. Let's see. Do you have? Did you find any questions? Uh, what is the color identity of one of the mystery legends on your wish list? <laughs> if you can't answer things, you can't answer the, things. Well, it's that's a that question's almost too easy. So for yeah, those who don't know. At my at my desk at work, I have a long list of all these different legends I want to get made in different commander sets, and um, of all these great legends from Magic lore. And so I've got a very long list. So almost every color identity is represented, um, and then I, I try and make them. So I mean, I'll just go ahead and say one that I'm thinking of right now, which is going to be. Let me get it. Okay. Blue black. I've got a blue black legend. I'm very excited blue about. Blue black branding. is fabulous. That's great. I always say that green's my favorite, but blue black is actually my favorite. Oh wow, yeah. I, I I'm a. If I were three colors, I would, I would be blue, black, and white. So ah, that's the correct three, choice. My three color combination. <laughs> As the Esper Canlander player over here, yeah. yes, the correct choice. Uh, combining a few different questions, what is, do you think is the most powerful card you've ever gotten printed, and the jankiest card you've ever gotten printed? Okay, well here's a fun game. Here's a fun game for for chat. Um, <laughs> Which will unfortunately, well, it might not make me look so good. I don't know. I have had six cards that I have made banned. Okay, banned. I have six. I have six cards that I've got had made banned or restricted in some format. Try and name them. See if you can name them. That's and, an interesting question for chat. <laughs> if anyone, if anyone gets all six. First guess is Smuggler's Copter. Nope, did not make Smuggler's Copter. Energy Cat. Nope. Ada Works Marvel. Nope, a good guess. Gold plant was, I think, before your time. The, fir the first set I worked on uh, was Return to Ravnica. So um, anything before that, the answer is going to be no. Uh, new Emrakul? Uh, I okay, I see Paradox Engine yeah, in there. That's, that's one of one. mine. Uh, Paradox Engine, I, so I made it. I thought it might be good in Commander. Um, <laughs> turns out, <laughs> turns out, turns out the answer was yes. Um, there's only a handful of comments on the card, and one of them is from Ali Medwin, who's like, I think it's gonna be banned in Commander within two years. So she she wins props for that one. Good good work, Allie. Um, like Allie. Uh, you, you said Emrakul. New Emrakul. New Emrakul. Yeah. So New Emrakul is one of mine. Specifically, the you take their turn part. You take their turn and they get another turn. That was my idea. The rest of the cards shifted around a little bit, but um, but yeah. So I'm responsible for both for New New Emrakul. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> you know what? Don't sorry. apologize. They're good moments. People, yeah. You know they're all, they generate stories. Generate you know? stories. And, like, where would you be without those stories? And, and why those cards should not be allowed to be made anymore. And, you know, look, look frankly, in, in game design, we have this kind of philosophy where if we're not getting stuff banned, we're not pushing hard enough, yeah. right? Like we have to kind of push those boundaries. Gotta push the boundaries. we got to find where, where it is. And, yes, sometimes we'll have to ban cards, and that's too bad, but we have to, like, try and, you know... Push and for that people a that bit. do kitchen table magic where there are no rules, you're gonna have some good fun. There's always, you know, commander. Like very little, little gets banned in commander, except for I guess paradox engine and another one of my cards that no one's named yet. Um, two in commander. Two in commander, yeah. yeah. I guess it's for Hogak. Uh, no, 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 not Hogak. Leave that to the Modern Horizons, those wild, wild not designers. Prefix. No, not that. Well, one. people are guessing. I'm actually gonna switch places with Jordan. Okay. I have to pick up my human child. <laughs> Creature dash human Creature dash human. Yes. <laughs> ah, the curious pair. Cur uh, oh yeah. Okay. I was like, no. I was no. like, no. Curious pair is not banned yet. Okay. Okay. We got a little bit of time, time to work on that if one. Curious pair gets banned. I am very concerned about what combo with curious pair. Is really Gavin, always pleasure. Hey, it's so Thanks good to see you, Tara. Thanks for coming out, opening some packs. It was a great yes. time. Bye, chat. Thank you for being here. Maybe I'll see you in the future if the team lets me back on stream. Not likely. Oh, they'll let you back. You're the team. <laughs> You know, but I mean, you know, details. <laughs> Goodbye, Tara. Bye. All right. Hello. All right. Well, here's it's Jordan. Here's our favorite side grade, Jordan. <laughs> I'll, I'll take side grade. Yeah. I'll take. Side not grade. better, not worse. It's just, not a downgrade. Just strictly different. Just a little bit. Eh. Uh, more so, fun. You're gonna get 100 so, more fun. So I think someone in the chat I saw said the green primordial. That was another one of mine. I made all the primordials but the white one. Yeah, so green, red, black, and blue primordials. All my fault, including the band green, green primordial. The white one originally did something very different. It got you an equipment for each of your opponents and put it into play on the primordial, which was, was really powerful, as it turns out.
Um, yeah. It turned, wait, as in like hunt through your library? Yeah, search your library for an equipment for each of your opponents and attach it to the, the primordial. It was pretty strong. Ironically, though, it wasn't even the strength that was the problem. It was the fact that all the other primordials did like a mean thing to each of your opponents, and this one did a good thing for you for each of your opponents, mm -hmm. right? So, so it just kind of didn't fit with the flavor of the It didn't the fit with the flavor of the cycle, yeah. So uh, anyway, so uh, those are a few of my a few of my favorite things. I appreciate how many. I mean, it does speak to the power of your designing that they keep getting banned. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've designed a lot of magic yeah. cards. Okay, um, and every time that's a little bit strong. Well, I mean, there's a good reason for it. Right. So happy to happy to sign any of those cards if you uh, <laughs> if you'd like me to, or or not. That's fine. Uh, anyway. Do we have more packs to open up? Should we open up more packs? We do have more packs to open up, and we have a couple names handy. All right. We still have a few packs. It was, I'll admit it was a leading question. I can see the packs right in front of me. Um, I just wanted to move away from cards Gavin's made that have gotten banned to, well, let's please open up some more shiny cards. <laughs> please, God, I need to stop talking about this. Right. So, what we have is a pack for David A. Schultz. If you are still around, please let us know whether you would like to have these opened or right, I mean, you don't have packed. to have your pack open. You could ruin the fun for everybody and not have your pack open. I mean, if you just want to... I mean, they can do if, what if they you just like. Hoard it. I mean, it's your choice, but you could make a worse choice. <laughs> I would like to say a different choice. Yeah. It's worse for us, fully, because we want to open these packs. We want to show people everything. And I'm going to say if they don't answer, by default, we're opening this pack. Right, yeah, if you don't answer, uh, we're opening the pack and I'm keeping the cards. because That is, is not the case. No, and that's not what's going to happen? I, I love opening these packs. There's so much fun stuff in them. When did you slip that into your writer? I missed that. Yeah, it's, it's my green M&M's clause. Is, uh, if they don't show up, I get whatever's in the pack. Mm, um, well, it doesn't look like they're hanging around, so I'd say we open this up. Should, should we move on to the next person and see if they, if they come back? Or, or do you just want to keep, keep on... Nah, we'll keep on keeping on, because they are getting these cards no matter okay. what. So I guess we're opening. But we are going to open now, okay. and they can check the VOD. <laughs> okay, now here's the deal, chat. I've got one, two, I've got pack one, two, three, and four. Which one should I open? Spam, spam a number. Gavin! Yeah, that's Gavin. right. I just asked Twitch chat to spam a number. This isn't the pre-pre-release. We don't have a team of mods. It's, a, it's okay. I can uh, read. Looks like three. Three is the big winner. Winning. So as we all know, I'm going to count one, four, three, and here we go. I think the one with Garrick is the correct choice. All right, we're gonna open up this pack, number three. Wow, you know it's so funny. He's humans very much upset, Dix. Yeah. Humans, <laughs> humans love threes. Just I three is the one that got picked. Well, all right, David, your chat has been your uh, fate's been chosen by the chat. We're gonna open up this collector booster from Throne of Eldraine and see what we get. And chat has never once steered anyone wrong in the history of Twitch streaming, so you're fine. And certainly never me. Okay, well, I got some good news for you. Good news. What do we have here? This is important news. Mm -hmm. We're bringing Weasel back, and those other weasels do not know how to act. We've got a Weasel back red cap right here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There's another musical reference yeah. for you. Yep. 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 A Goblin Knight, perhaps a one drop for your night deck. There you go. I appreciate what Eldrin did in adding yet another tribe of goblins. Of just continuing to add like a different variation of goblins. So you're hitting every kind of fantasy goblin at this point. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things for us is we want our sets to look distinctive. And mm -hmm. um, goblins is, are one of the big ways we do that. Every set, every world with goblins, they look a little, little bit different. You compare Kamigawa goblins to Mirrodin goblins to, yeah, Eldrian goblins. They all have a little bit of a different look and help uh, create that storybook feel. Okay, now here's, a, here's one. This has been the subject of much discussion. Um, many people would say that we have made a mistake with this one. We will see. Um, Mystic Sanctuary is here. Ah, rare. yes. I believe one of the people saying that you made a mistake is in this chat right now. Yes. So, uh, yeah, this card might be a little too much in Popper. We'll find out. Um, and maybe other formats, too. Um, so. I believe Dix was worried about Legacy, actually. Yeah, you can fetch for this. It's going to be fine. No, it's great. Put, just put your Terminus back on top of your library. Mm -mm -mm. Eh, who plays Terminus anyway? It's going to be great. No problem. Yeah, in the 6th century. Well, you know, one of the things about these lands is we put land types on them for a reason, and because it's, it's one of the reasons why is it's pretty cool to be able to fetch these up in older formats. Mm -hmm. Additionally, they're good with the castles, too, so you can play these in the castle side by side and they untap. Um, and they and they work with each other. There was a time where they didn't have the land types, and um, if you had a deck full of Mystic Sanctuaries, they wouldn't help each other at you know, untap or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, being able, able to fetch with them is a great backwards compatibility move. Yeah, because so. you too can get seven swords to plowshares in one game. Yes. It'll be it'll be a great time. It'll be night of the round all over again. But uh, uh, but you can all forget about it because it's time for memory theft. Don't worry. I don't know what we were just talking about. 
What is Magic? I didn't realize that. that... Is, is it a is it a deck master game? That's for sure. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Uh, I think Let's it's, move right along yes. from that stage. Uh, no, but Gavin, what is Deckmaster? Well, you might remember there are other successful games, uh, such as Vampire. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move on uh, to a Spore Cap Spider. Little 1 5 reachy reach reader. A spider. You can always tell, uh, here's a little design tip for you. We almost always, and there is, I think, one exception, and I'm so sorry about it. We always, always try to make spiders have more toughness than power. Yeah. Why? Because that's just how magic works. Giant Spider started doing that years ago. Um, and. Um, you know, because that, nothing, nothing is more distressing than a giant spider. But at least this way, it won't hurt as bad. I, I'm going to say a it's sentence. It's just scary. I'm going to say a sentence that um, outside of magic would be terrifying, <coughs> oh, which God. is which is that spiders have been grandfathered in, and I don't know what that means. But in magic, there you go. Um, I will keep my brain thinking of magic and nothing else because I want to sleep tonight. All right, here's a gorgeous piece. I want oh. a, a foil version in the showcase frame. You get the Smitten Swordmaster. I adore, adore, adore this piece. Anytime I open up a showcase card, I just feel like, like I win. Um, and this is, look at this. You get that knight pulling out a sword. You get that raven that is just so emblematic. You get that tiny bit of hit of red, which is so good on the foil. Oh, that's just a delight. Absolute delight. Okay. Next up, deal some damage with a Searing Barrage. Featuring that new adamant mechanic. And as I talked about Terra earlier, we wanted to make sure you could play monocolor. You had some incentives to play monocolor mm -hmm. with this set. And adamant is a big way that we did that. Um, but we we tried originally, actually, or at various times, different numbers for this, including all the mana has to be of the same color. But in limited, that's so hard. It oh, really commits yes. you to monocolor. So three is like the great branching point of, you might be heavier red. Maybe you play heavy red with 11 mountains and six of another color or something. Um, and so it rewards you a little bit for doing so, but you don't have to just be mono to be able to play it. Yeah, it's nice because it allows colors to still splash for removal in the limited environment, but if you're playing red, well, then maybe you can just win off of an Adam and Serum Barrage they're not expecting. Um, it's very satisfying. So, so what do you think? Should I show the next card? I think we should probably show the next card. Uh, not if you ask like that. Which way would you like me to ask? Well, the biggest problem is that you didn't say please. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Here's a copy of Didn't Say Please. That's right. I set that up. I did all of this. Um, and now it's well, it's the Gavin stream. Hello, everybody. It's not the Gavin um, stream. We had a request from the first person that we pulled a winner from. We didn't open their pack to open their pack, so we'll be doing that. Oh, after excellent. Now, now that I'm here, I'm glad I really level up level up the game. Didn't Say Please is a nice little counter spell that mills them for a little bit. So uh, so perfect. No problem. Next time I'll say Por Favor. How Look, does that people, work? this chat here is so nice. I got tens out of tens out of that. That's like a at Wizards. That's like a six out of six out of seven at best, or five out of seven. Is that is that what you're supposed to say? Anyway, uh, I think it's a strictly four out of t uh, ten. Four out of ten. Yeah. Five seven. So for a long time, I thought that five out of seven was just a magic meme because of Amara Tandra. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, every time, every time I saw that even on the internet, I'm like, oh, they're making fun of Amara Tandra again. I see. That's the joke. But it, no, it turns out that that's that's. <laughs> it turns out there are memes scenes. greater than magic memes. Although the amount of magic memes that make it into other games is astounding. Yes. For the amount of magic references. Magic is everywhere. Magic players are also everywhere. They're, uh, magic is like the, the Hydra of, of, the, of the real world. They're just... You ever want a bunch of magic like references? Go play Destiny. There's a million of them. It's unreal. So, Resolute Rider. So one thing I we did, love this card. Yeah, and so this is a fun little story. So one thing we wanted to do was, once again, we're trying to find <coughs> ways to incentivize monocolor. Um, but without being a problem for two color. Mm. Um, so we found the solution of trying these quad hybrid cards, where if you're really focused on playing mono color, you can play them without too much trouble. Or if you're just those two colors, you can put them into your deck. So they're not just for one deck, because if this was triple black, or sorry, if this, was, if this was quad black, it would only go in a mono black deck, basically. Yeah. But at quad white black, it can go in a mono black deck, a mono white deck, or a white black deck, or if you're just a wild child, uh, you can try putting this in your slightly black deck and see what happens to you. Uh, Look, you can, you'll can you never go wrong. That's what will happen to you. You get perfect mana every time you need it. Someone um, <coughs> someone showed me a um, someone showed me a, a pre-release deck that contained both the uh, the white black and I think the red blue qua qua <laughs> oh, hybrid no, card. Oh no! And and I was like, how how'd that go? And they said, well, I two won the pre-release. I never cast either of them. So anyway, the moral of the story, I guess, was that they were punished for their actions. But so, anyway. Sometimes the greed can hurt you. 
Oh, gorgeous. Check out this bad boy. Hey, the Jolly Green Giant. The Giant is here. This is a, a, I actually think this card is, is really strong, potentially even constructed playable. At a three mana ramp spell that turns into a seven mana beater later on. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's certainly commander playable, right? You'll, I'll play a three mana ramp spell that can then be a creature uh, later on down the road. And it's especially commander playable when it looks like this. It is gorgeous. Um, another fun note, Nick Southam uh, is a artist at Wizards. So uh, another a uh, rare opportunity for someone at Wizards to come in and do some pieces. I love seeing the Wizards artist get a chance to shine on these uh, storybook cards. <coughs> yeah, the um, you know especially the chance to do something different, like, hey, let's try a different art style here, made some people jump at the opportunity. So great work, Nick. It's a, it's a gorgeous piece. And then uh, speaking of um, of special frames, we're now into the, the part of the pack where we get, so we've gone through our nine, mm -hmm. our nine, nine foils that we get. Now we're into our showcase cards. So we'll get three showcase cards, including the Fairy Guide Mother, Fairy on parents. This <clears> is um, this is one of, Ooh, of I haven't seen a very one. early design from uh, from the set, and not not design as in the abilities, but the uh, the name. We knew we wanted some kind of fairy godmother equivalent, mm. and um, this this premise, the the flavor stuck all the way through. Um, it was, so it's great. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, it can get you out of being locked in the tall tower, which is. Um, a flavor one we always love talking about. One important note, though, uh, that adventure is at sorcery speed, not instant. Don't get dumpstered like me. You, yeah, it sounds you sound like a person with experience on this. Oh, it was fantastic. So, if you liked your first smitten swordmaster, can I interest you in a second smitten swordmaster? I'd ship it. So, yeah, now you've got both these to stare at. You're all well on your way to getting a, a nice alternate frame night deck. So you're only two away from a showcase. Showcase a night deck, so that's really nice. If two showcase decks play against each other, does that make it a showcase showdown? If you're commentating, yes. Um, so that's wonderful. And then um, I believe now we have a curious triad. We've opened up three of these now. The curious pair is here. And they bring treats to share with some delicious, delicious food. I, once again, a great piece. I, mm -hmm. I feel like I should keep, keep saying that. Great piece of the artwork, but it really is amazing. Especially if you have the chance... A lot of the artists have been posting the full, um, like you know, full resolution versions they're of incredible. their pieces. Oh, they're just stunning! Like up close, there are tiny little details on some of this stuff. You just you can't you can't even notice at card size. I mean, it, I always think it's amazing how we put we commission this art and put so much work painstakingly, uh, and the artist put so much work painstakingly into painting these amazing pieces that we then shrink down to be about two inches tall. Um, they're gorgeous. Go look look them up for sure. Absolutely. Okay, now we get into um, we get into the ancillary card slot, which to me is always mm. the super exciting part of the pack, where you just don't know like what you're getting, where it's coming yeah, from. Everything else is coming from Throne of Eldraine, and I, I, specifically draft boosters are the equivalent. Right. So, so he, he, here's the thing. Last with the last pack, I um, I opened up Arcane Signet. Yeah. Okay. I think the thing about Wizards is I'm what, what we call the commander architect over there. So I'm in charge of our commander products. I work on our commander fixed decks, I, you know, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get commander cards in mainline super sets. So, of course, um, one of the first packs I would open up has Arcane Signet. This, this pack, Command Tower. Perfect. So it literally yes, could not have drawn up any better. Gorgeous new Command Tower. Check mm -hmm. this out. That is rad. I, the, the power of commander is strong with this one. Um, and it's super cool, by the way, to see Commander Command Tower on a different world. Um, so you get to see the um, the Throne of Eldrain take on Command Tower, which is exciting. Okay, so now next up, we get to our Extended Ooh, Art Rare, yes. which yes. is uh, I kind of like that dramatic flip I did last time. The Extended Art Rare, which is going to be a preview card of someone in this chat room, by the way. I've been rereading reading their comments mm. on uh, over on the, the Commander and Podcast. I showed this card off. It is... Dance of the Mance. It's how you get enchants and pants and get your opponents into a trance. Yeah, okay. Um, so <laughs> th th those were all words. Well, um, yeah, because you're getting enchantments. The, you're getting artifacts and equipment. So you're getting the pants back. You're getting everything you need. The, the, the thing that's most impressive to me is I have no way to tell if that was the, something you had said before and it was already in your head or if you just made it up on the spot and you were just correct. Poor Kano Los Dos. Um... It's a, it is a joke that has been made on Card Kingdom several times. I wish I'd come up with the Dance Man's Revolution that I'm seeing in chat, because that is incredible. <laughs> but th this is an awesome rare, great way to um, great way to reanimate it, made a bunch of stuff, make a bit of creatures, attack, 
Um, this was, yeah, originally an enchantment that we turned into a sorcery, and uh, it's all the better off for it. It's super cool to just get him out of nowhere with this, so. Oh, and the extended nice. art on that just looks incredible. Yeah, it really, once again, I feel like the extended art brings the cards to life in this really powerful way where it's like they're extending out. I just keep, I, I keep expecting it to like continue into air. Almost, yeah. right? Like, no, absolutely. It's just keep on going, keep on going. We're so used to seeing the constraints within the border that, like, this is where the card stops, that when we suddenly don't have that, we keep looking for more, which you can then go onto the R's page and find more. Someday, <laughs> when, we, when we have a VR magic cards, we'll see, like, the whole world turn into these things. We'll get extended world cards. <laughs> get those AR there. cards. And then, for our foil rare, mm. or mythic rare, we've got a card that can go in any deck, and it's quite strong. Stone Coil Serpent. Oh, this card is mean. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so one thing we try and do in game design um, is we always try and build in release valves. Yeah. So if something is too strong, we have answers for it, and, and especially in the next set. Um, and so given that we just came off a year of Ravnica, protection from multicolored is a really strong answer. So if there was a deck that was, we're always worried when we, when we do a Ravnica set, there might be some soup deck that's like five yeah. colors, play everything, mm -hmm. you know. Um, lots of multi multicolored cards. Plus, we're emphasizing monocolor in this set. Well, hey, protection from multicolored is a, is a perfect thing for that, right? We need to hate on the old multicolored cards a little bit and um, uh, be really good uh, or be not as good against the monocolored mm -hmm. stuff. So it's great and literally playable in any deck. It's, you can play it in, your mo in any commander deck, any standard deck, you can whatever play it you want. Time. It's always on curve. You get to choose what that curve is. And it has reach and trample, which are things that don't often come on the same package and are exciting when they do. And then a last but not least, once again, you get that foil double-sided token, the only place in the set that they appear. Food. So, so here's food, and uh, well, m must be knights, I guess. Here's a here's a knight token. So there you go. Uh, that was a knight's transition. W wonderful, yes, indeed, wonderful pack. I'll package this up here and put it safely away to be sent off to you, David A. Schultz, if that is your real name, or even if it's not, I guess you still get this. I feel like this but. is one of those Twitch names where it absolutely is their real name. But if it's not, that's the biggest swerve in Twitch names. Have you ever done the, have you ever done the thing where it's like, ah, oh, yes, this form is asking me for my real name. Type, type it in, enter. Oh, that was my username. It's not my real name that I should put in there. There it is. I thankfully don't do that often. My main issue is whenever I'm tweeting about us going live on Twitch, uh, I will fully admit the amount of times that I've typed out twitch.tv slash my own Twitch handle instead of twitch.tv slash card kingdom is uh, terrifying. Thankfully, I haven't posted it yet. Pretty sure it's not intentional. Absolutely, because if I did that, I am in so much trouble. Yeah, come, come watch. <laughs> then, then you're gonna be stuck on your own Twitch channel, opening your own. Also, no one's masters. gonna be there because I'm at work. No one's gonna be streaming on that Twitch channel. Fair enough. Well, so now we're going back to one of the first ones, right? Yeah. We, so we, we swayed someone. The first pack that we chose was for Gamer Girl Seven Five Eight, and we didn't open it. Uh, we were still getting the swing of things and how we wanted to do that. And Gamer Girl mentioned that they would like to see it get opened. Excellent. Well, I'm so glad do that. I'm glad I could change your mind, Gamer Girl. Excellent. I, I just find opening these packs is so much fun. And especially, you'll get uh, me commenting on everything forever. You'll be able to link all your friends to the VOD of this video. And be like, Gavin, open my pack. And he said these things about it. So, all right, Gamer Girl, uh, 75B? 8, I believe. So, 75, 8. Yes. Um, let's open this pack, yeah? Yeah. Boom. Here we, we go. A quick thing here because unfortunately, y'all might have noticed that our camera is being a little bit stupid and it's having a time. Uh, it's not getting fixed, but this should hopefully make it at least a little bit less often that it's doing its old glitch thing. I just thought we were, it was like an 80s retro thing, you know? God, just... I would. I mean, to go in with the Magic Arena commercials, I would love to make that a thing, but. Look, I can, we're go, not that I can good. switch into my like 80s outfit if you want. Like, I, I live pretty close to here. What, one of the great perks about. Uh, <laughs> I live in the in Seattle, as opposed to most of my compatriots who will live out in Renton near work. Um, but one of the big big perks is I live like ten minutes from Card Kingdom, so I can come here whenever I want, which is great. Mm -hmm. I uh, do like my short commute to work. All right. Well, I'm gonna try something different this time, which is to start with a token, because I feel like we're, we're ending with the token. Uh, yeah. Right. And I'll start with this time so once again. This way we can end with the spicy foil rare. The with, well, I would say that we would end with the spicy meatball, but in fact, we're gonna start with the spicy meatball this time around with a uh, with this food token that then turns into. A dwarf token. A spicy dwarf token. Look at, look at that. I don't know what makes it look spicy, cute, but sure is spicy. Cute little dwarf. Well, some dragons will tell you it's spicy, that's for sure. Okay, so we get a food dwarf. <laughs> a food dwarf. Dwarf food? Anyway. What actually makes there. the dwarf token? Do you know offhand? Because I do not. Uh, the land. I know that at least the red land makes the mm, dwarf token. Yes. The, the dwarf in dwarf, mine, yes. That would make sense. Right. It's, it's the classic paradigm where white gets the pump effect. Mm -hmm. Black gets... Um, black gets the... Helpful but painful. Yeah. Draw a card, lose a life in this case. Is well, that, that's the rare. No, that, 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 that's, that's the rare. The rare. Yes. The uncommon is the 
creature on top of your yeah, deck. Yeah, black yeah. creature on top of your deck. Blue gets a sorcery on top of the deck. Um, but then the weird one is green makes a food. Mm -hmm. So normally like white or green would make the token, but green's a food color, so I wanted to give it food, so you already got the token maker. It's actually really, a really interesting design thing about like how we spread out these really basic effects. Yeah. Because if you're gonna do a cycle, you kind of have to like figure out where they all go and you know where the set twist goes. Anyway, it's a it's a fun Excel puzzle I won't, won't bore you with now. Um, instead, the secrets of making cycles. I got I got to this card pretty slowly on purpose because it's a Misford River Turtle. Aww, it's a slow what a cute turtle. little turtle. It's got yeah. a fairy on its back. Just a cute little turtle. Yeah, look at look at this turtle right. Hopefully, here. it has a better fate than Meandering Tower Shell. What's wrong with Meandering Tower Shell? It turned into a tomb shell. Well, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go back to Tarkir sometime. You'll see that your tower shell is is returned to a city. Its bones have been hollowed out. It's now a world without turtles. It's very very strange. Uh, okay. Turtles of Tark here. Yeah! The, the next on I've been waiting for it for years. <laughs> okay. One of the questions is what creature type do you want to see get more support in modern magic? So now we have an answer. Homunculus. Next question. Okay. Oh. I actually have a list of creature types I want to make lords for. Here's a Reeve Soul. Oh, such a just great solid piece of removal yeah. in limited. Totally solid removal spell right here. I also gotta love that new art on it too. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like Macbethy. Super nice. Put that down here. Uh, speaking of that land cycle, here's the idyllic Grange, not, as I always like to say, the idyllic garage. Not, it's not a garage. It's not a garage. No, it's, we're not on Kaladesh. There can't be any garage. Uh, we have one vehicle. It's a Grange, which I'm not sure what a Grange is. I think honestly, one of the most difficult parts of magic design must be finding new words for us for lands. Just because of how many different printings of lands there have been well, to create, I think that is both. I know that is true. Um, <laughs> I, I've lived that. Um, but my favorite part of the design cycle of designing a set is when we make a new cycle of lands, and I get to put whatever dumb name I choose for them. And I, my my strategy is always just pick very generic word of one color, very generic word of another color. So that's when you get that's when you get like. Mountainy water, or whatever. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. What a delicious dual land. Right. Uh, brush plains. You know, things like this. Um, ah, the original Savannah name. Uh, I think my favorite ones that I did were, actually, not in that vein, were the uh, Battle Bond dual lands, where we knew they were going to be part of a stadium. So I made up like these ridiculous places in the stadium for them. And then Luxury Suite actually was the one that, that stuck. We were like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. There's a Luxury Suite The one. concession so. stand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was one of them. The gorilla position. The, the, the red-green one was the concession stand. Oh, like, what does red-green love? <laughs> Eating food. That's the concession stand. Um, I, what were the... The blue-white was the training room. Yeah, right? okay. We train. That's Gans. Let's see if I can remember them. Red-green was the concession stand. Black was Luxury Suite. White-blue was the training room. Um, what, what, are, what are the other colors? A blue-black... Oh, blue black was the um, was the like bookie area, <laughs> and um, the gambling room. And green white. I uh, don't remember that one. I'll admit. Maybe it was like the seats, spectator seating, or nose something like that. Seats is the nosebleeds, yeah, uh, I like that. That, that would be good for red black. Actually, yeah. those nosebleed seats. That's really good. Anyway, uh, battle bond, good times. Uh, but enough about Battle Bond and Idyllic Ranges. It's time to talk about the Silver Flame Ritual. Oh, it hurts. It's Knight of the Knight of the Round Table style reference right here. You put all the swords in the middle. The, the the fun thing about just how culture evolves is, as much as I know Knight of the Round Table always is Arthurian lore, I can't help but think of the Final Fantasy VII summon because of how ingrained <laughs> it is in my life as a consumer of video game culture. Um... <laughs> You're one to talk, Chris. Would you say you're thrilled about this next card? I'd say I'm ecstatic. So you're ecstatic? Yeah. I think you're wrong. I think you're thrilled. Because there's thrilled possibility. <laughs> it could have been it could have been anything. It could have been anything. I'm so sorry that for your thrilling joke I had a chilling Objection, reaction. You're leading the witness. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's uh it could have been anything, and this was the thrill we got. This is actually uh, a pretty big upgrade over like a tormenting voice. The instant speed nature does a lot here. Um, mm -hmm. I would not su surprise me if this was constructed playable. Um, okay, it's time for going on an adventure with the Merfolk Secret Keeper. Mill your opponent out a little bit, get a zero four. Blocks all day. It's a wizard. It's a wizard that has a huge amount of toughness that play on turn one, has effects if you want to do some milling, but mostly it just buys you time in tempo. You can just sit on it. 
Um, here's what the first card we ever showed off. Yeah. The, the Flash Intruder is here. The uh, love this card. Little Goldilocks comes to town. I love the three bears on the uh, in the background. Mm-hmm. It's so good. We actually are, and we had we did have the storybook version come up earlier. So the only one I think we're missing now, and what we can get here, is the foil storybook version. All right, well maybe it's a. Hey, it could be in time. this pack. We got a few more packs to open. Um, the mysterious path later. Once again, we talked about how we have these like kind of signposts, uncommons that point you in directions. Um, trying to believe this decks. We saw the innkeeper earlier. The mm -hmm. path later is another great example of this, where it's a three mana two two flyer, solid and limited, but also um, lets you tells you, hey, play a lot of adventure cards in your deck. And this plus the the green one drop are just phenomenal. Um, yeah, that kind you of just start building tempo that your opponent has a very big time coming back from. And then it's last, a great path flyer. but certainly not least, is Sage of the Falls. And this is actually one of the first cards we found uh, during this opening that mentions non-human tribal on it. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a long road here. You know, we um, originally we tried a bunch of different tribal things in this set, like okay, we'll have night tribal, and maybe we'll have like elf tribal and fairy tribal and all this stuff. But what we really found is it was kind of two categories, right? There were like the the human knights from the the courts, mm -hmm. and then the wilds, the fae, and. Um, so separating it into non-human tribal is really interesting, and the great thing about that is we wanted to make a bunch of weird creature types in this set, right? You wanted you wanted our unicorns and uh, all, all the various things that a fantasy set like, like this would want, um, and there we don't really have established tribal lords for that, in the, in, and we don't have a lot of old cards are, that have that creature type. So by saying non-human, it lets you build a wide variety of decks, and if you go build your, um, what's his name, Grim Gully the Generous? Yeah. If you go build your Groom Belly the Generous deck, you can use any non-human in all magic history, so it allows for some really fun deck building. The fun thing for what I found in Eldraine drafting in particular is non-human lets you just get very playful with the colors. You are so much less concerned with colors when you have the ability to right. bounce around to any non-human. All right, well, we've got onto our showcase cards. Yes. We've got a rare right here. Check out this. It's We're time. Starting off with a rare? Start off with a rare. Yes. The giant killer is here. V5. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I was uh, drafting Eldraine last weekend, and my opponent giant killed my creature in the first game, and I was very sad. Mm -hmm. And then in game two, he giant killers my creature. And I look over, and I'm like, that's weird. I could have sworn the, the one last game was... No. I, I could have sworn the, the one last game was in a normal frame, not a showcase frame, but I must just be forgetting. So lo and behold, I untap, I play another four mana creature, or four mana four drop, and he untaps and he uses his other giant killer to chop my creature down, so... I got I got Dave Guskin, but anyway, oh, Parajacks um, are ready for you. Yeah, yes. Uh, anyway, though, great flavor on this card. Kill off a creature, then you yeah. got a tapper later on. Just total delight. Um, you, you lose that limit many many times over. It's just very tough to come back from that tempo with loss. Arden Vale Tactician is here. Just a solid card. Got a gorgeous piece of art on that. Mm -hmm. I once again, I love the range you get. Good work, Aaron Miller. And um, the theme of the day is apparently. Smitten Swordmaster. I think we're we have, getting close to our place. Then. I think I, I have opened up a Smitten Swordmaster in every one of these I've opened up so far, um, either in print foil or non foil or normal frame, whatever. We're very smitten today. You know, There's frankly, a lot of love in the air, frankly. Yeah, yeah. I can feel the love tonight. <coughs> I'm, uh, we're showing love to our community. The chat is showing love for the stream. You're showing love for the set. There's just a lot of love going on. Um, yeah, Smitten Swordmaster. Uh, once again, great in a night deck. I, I can't. Can find new things to say about it other than it's, it's powerful magic card. Uh, okay, now you've heard a lot about this card recently. Maybe not this version. So once again, you need the ancillary card slot. Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get. So far, we've gotten a rare Shimmer Dragon. Mm -hmm. We've got an Arcane Signet. Mm -hmm. We've got a Command Tower. Mm -hmm. All super exciting cards. This time around, we've got a Mythic Rare. We've got Oko. The trickster. Now this is this is the planeswalker deck, Oko. Right, okay. because we can get planeswalker deck cards right. in this. So it's kind of kind of just like a bonus, a bonus rare, bonus planeswalker inside this pack. So that's pretty pretty exciting stuff. In terms of the trickster, I love the name specifically because when this card got revealed, just the art, Oko tricked everyone because everyone thought that Oko was going to be blue, green, black with the purple energy trail coming from the hand. So tr he's tricky in every it's way. Very tricky. Art imitates life, imitates art. You know. So check out that. Bam. Gorgeous, got an Oko right here. Okay, now we get you to our be my Oko Ono. Now we get to our extended art card. Mm -hmm. Here's Gadwick the Wizened right oh. here. Now, oh, this is so a, good. An awesome commander you get to, you get to play with. Fabulous commander, it, heavy blue deck for sure. Um, just having a card draw spell that also leaves a creature behind that also then taps your opponent's stuff is delightful. It makes it feel like, and this is going to sound like a dirty phrase to some people in the audience. 
But it makes me feel like all my spells are cryptic command. Like every time I cast a spell, I'm like, ah, oh, oh, I get to type your thing. It's you're, wonderful. Are you going to cast a spell before you attack? Oh, bad news for your creatures. Counter it's, and untap your beautiful. creature, right? You're going to wait until you attack. Oh, bad news. Um, yeah, that's delightful. Oh, so pretty. I love, I love, I love, love these extended art cards. And we get to the back of our pack, which is our foil rare and mythic rare. Mm -hmm. And we've got this time around a foil special card. Here is the Bone Crusher Giant. Now this Whoa. this guy, constructed playable, a lot of people are talking about this showing up in deck. It's having a shocking effect on standard. Uh, yeah, shocking and stomping effect. It, it's a, it's, it's stomp and awe. Um, this guy comes down three mana four three <coughs> with upside, mm -hmm. nonetheless. And it's also a two mana removal spell on it. So uh, it's pretty powerful right here. And you get it in this great showcase frame. So I, I, Gamer Girl, I think you end up with a, with a wonderful pack here. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, um, uh, that's weird. There's one card left. Is it the card that you might have shuffled to the front? It's a turtle! I waited, it's for, turtle. waited for it to come on back. <laughs> it was a little, I little, appreciate how much a little you, bit to get here. I how you slow rolled that joke. I, I, I set it up. I really really set, set this one up. <laughs> Great work, Gamer Girl. You now have a bunch of those a bunch of those sweet cards. Now, I saw um, during that segment there, as we were opening up this collector booster, mm -hmm. there were a number of uh, people in chat asking questions. Were there any there that we earmarked to come back to? I'm happy uh, to answer them. Are you planning on going to any other Magic Fest this year? I am planning to go to more Magic Fest this year. The next Magic Fest I will be at is Magic Fest Richmond in about a month from now. So um, come out to Magic Fest Richmond. I'll be there. We're having a Mythic Championship there, so that'll be really, really exciting. Um, and uh, I'll be there doing some, some pretty fun stuff that uh, you'll find out more about later. And uh, yeah, it sh should be a good time. Um, I love Magic Fest because you get to play Magic all weekend, and I get to talk with players all weekend, and you get to meet a bunch of new folks, so it, it's a really, really good time. I'll be there for sure. Um, there's an outside chance I might actually be in um, in Spain for Bologna, and if, if that's true, I'll let you all know. And then uh, rounding it out with Portland at the end of the year is going to be uh, it's gonna be really fun. I was originally going to go to Phoenix, so I'm bummed I can't go to Phoenix anymore because I used to live there for a little while. Um, but I, I'm going to uh, Essen and uh, Luca instead, which are two European game conventions. And I really couldn't turn down the opportunity to go to Germany and, uh, and Italy. So uh, I'll be over there instead of in Phoenix. Deep apologies. Um, but I'm not, I don't feel too bad about it because I'm also going to be in Europe. So it, it'll be great. Yeah. I, as someone who enjoys travel, I think you're winning on this uh, case. And I Europe. do enjoy travel. But yes, I'll see you guys, uh, see you all your folks in Richmond uh, for that, that event. And then uh, Portland. <coughs> And there's, like I said, outside chance maybe at uh, Bologna as well. Then there's the obvious question as well. Commander Fests? Uh, this, this is a heartbreaker for me. Oh, no. This is a true heartbreaker. I cannot make any of the Commander Fests. Um, it's, un it's really unfortunate, but just the way the scheduling... Mm -hmm. As much as I would like to believe that we could schedule all the Commander Fests around me um, and my personal schedule, it just didn't work out this year. So mm -hmm. I'm going to have other commitments during all the Commander Fests, which is too bad. But as someone who helped bring Vegas to life... And Vegas, uh, and, you know, Magic Fest Las Vegas had a thousand people and over a thousand people in the command mm -hmm. zone. Um, who has seen that then parlay into all this excitement around Commander Fest? I'm stoked personally to see them grow and and to see how they turn out. And while I'm bummed, I will not be here in Seattle for the Seattle Commander Fest. Um, there's going to be plenty of people from Wizards who will be. So don't let that deter you. I think there'll be. Maybe probably over a hundred Wizards employees there to play Commander with, so it's going to be an amazing time. It very much helps when it is on a weekend and in Wizards' backyard. Yeah, we're feeling the same way. And we definitely have tons of people from Card Kingdom that are raring to go. And, and we all love Commander too, so mm -hmm. it, it makes it so easy. Um, plus, I mean, Command <coughs> Commander obviously the big thing about the, the Commander Fest. It makes a lot of sense. Commander Fest will be there, but um, we will also, of course, have all kinds of other formats happening there. We'll play Brawl at the Commander Fest, and I wouldn't be surprised if like cons uh, Conspiracy and Battle Bond drafts broke oh, out. Oh, I think Battle Bond is happening th there. That, that kind of social play is perfect for Command Commander Fest, so it'll be Because great Adam's going, so there has to be some kind of Battle Bond oh. event. I mean, as the lead designer of Battle Bond, I approve of all Battle Bond related messages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have photos of you doing all Battle Bond related messages. Ah. Play, or at Ma uh, Magic Fest Seattle, where you one headed giant against three other two headed teams at Battle Bond. And when undefeated, I'll just say. Well, I mean, you have a slight advantage over <laughs> literally everybody else. I'm, I'm down ahead. Literally down ahead. I guess it proves that uh, sometimes two heads are not better than one. I mean, I'll agree with that. <laughs> uh, any, any other questions out there in, uh, uh, in chat? What is your favorite jank card? Favorite jank card? Like, I yeah, oh, I've got one. Um, I qualified for U.S. Nationals 
with four copies, count them, four copies of imaginary pet. Do you know what this card does? No. It's, no idea. It's one and a blue for a 4-4 four, four creature. Okay, that seems strong. But yeah, we're off to, we're off to a really yeah. strong start, seems right? very strong. What's and, the downside? <laughs> and at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have no, if you uh, have any cards in your hand, it comes back to your hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, perfect. No problem. So uh, yeah, you just gotta dump your hand. What? How difficult can it be? As hilarious, it's not even. It wasn't even about that. So when you're, <laughs> let me talk about 2004 strategy for you. Um, no. Um, so One in with nothing ah, good. When I was a child, yes, it, it, it was in like 2006 <laughs> or something. So. Um, in the, basically, the short version is there was an aggressive gruel deck that was really popular, mm -hmm. and I just needed to buy time against them because I would always win the long game. So just playing a two mana four four blocker like they couldn't attack into it. So they ha mm. had to either attack and lose a creature or whatever. It, it was still not good. I would still not recommend if you go back and play do the two thousand six standard. Do not sideboard imaginary pet in your Urzatron deck. There are better options. Um, <laughs> but that was your that, option. Yeah, and, that, and it's yeah, your so choice. I qualified playing. Um, my sideboard included. Four imaginary pet, and three copies of the magic card Weight of Spires. Who out there knows what Weight of Spires does? Any any takers? I started playing. In no Red looking America, it up. So I have no idea. It, it, if you really, if you know what Weight of Spires does, and you truly know, say in the chat. I'll, I will be pleasantly surprised if any of you, you know what know what this card does. Um, I'm not in the chat, so I'm going to cheat because I would like to it, know what it's it does. from. Dissension. Okay, so yes, pre pre. I don't modern. know that it. I, Wow, the chat is silent. They've got nothing. Um, oh, this is awful. Except, Not like awful card. This is awful to me. It's so here's here's what it does. It's a single red mana, <coughs> and it's an instant, and it deals damage to target creature equal to the number of non-basic lands they control. So um, so. The price of progress for a creature. Yeah, but and and it doesn't doubles. Double. But right. it costs one. So mana. just it's a one mana removal spell. It, given it was Ravnica at the time, right? Everyone was playing all these dual mm -hmm. lands. It was a one mana removal spell. I needed a way to interact with stuff on turn one, so I played it. It was also not very good. But these seven dead sideboard slots did not stop me from me from qualifying. So um, <laughs> I guess that's it. Was something. a different time. Yeah. You know, honestly, I've read, wish effects. I've read a few articles about this, but um, I feel like one of the uh, very easy mistake players make is they actually over-sideboard too much. Mm -hmm. uh, if you sideboard out too many cards from your deck, it's really tempting to bring on all these other cards, but if you sideboard too many cards out of your main deck, your deck can just stop functioning properly, like you might lose really key things. Whenever you're sideboarding a card in, and you don't know what, what you're taking out, it's possible you're just making your deck worse. Mm -hmm. And so, ironically, it's possible that having a bad sideboard actually helped me out in that event, weirdly enough, so. Because it just made you so consistent. Yeah, because I was, well, Better, uh, better in the future than it was at that point. That magic. So anyway, sh any other questions? Or should we go ahead and open up another pack? Uh, we've got one more question right here, which is probably a pretty straightforward one. Then we can go into the next pack. Is who's your go-to commander? Yeah, I, my most played commander deck is Mariki Rabaret. Um, this is a card from Ice Age originally, but reprinted in Time Spiral. I see you searching. You uh, might have trouble type uh, spelling it, however. It's M E R I E K E. Tap it to gain control of target creature. You can choose not to untap it during your untap step. It's Esper. Uh, except you, it's it's even more different. You can't untap it during your untap step. Uh. You don't get any choice about it. So it's a three mana one one. You can tap to steal a creature, and if it dies or becomes un and doesn't untap, is it's not that you can choose. It just straight doesn't untap. Um, and if it untaps or dies, it kills off the creature that it stole. That it stole. So a lot of people play this with like untap effects to kill off all your opponent's creatures. I'm not that guy. I just play it just to threaten people. It's like you don't want to attack me. Oh, so, so you're using it as a politics tool? Yeah, just, you don't want to attack me. Don't play your, your dumb commander. I'm just gonna gonna steal it from you. Um, you and I what, would have a fun commander match. Then. One of my highlights of uh, of this card was um, I played it on turn three. My opponent's very excited. They play, they play <coughs> land, Sol Ring, um, and they play out uh, this like transmuter guy. What's mm -hmm. it called? I can't remember. Um, it's from uh, Conflux. Anyway, it lets you return an artifact to your hand and put down another artifact from your hand. He's very, he's very excited. He puts this down. Mm -hmm. And I go untap play my commander, and then I pass back to him. And he's excited. He passes the turn to me. And at the end of my turn, he's like, ha, ah, I've got you. Return this to my hand. Blightsteel Colossus. And I'm like, I... 
have an effect. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. I'll take your blade. So that's how I killed on um, turn four with my uh, with my very slow Esper Commander deck. Pro tip: Do not play Blades of Colossus and do on the board control magics. Yeah. Um, you made this. I made this. Yeah. yeah Master Transmuter. That's the card. Mm. All right. All right. Well, is it time to open up? Unkempt Thought booster pack? I believe it is, although we'll give it a sec to see if Unkempt Thought is in the chat. Uh, I'm going to assume that the answer is yes, please open this, because everyone has so far asked for that. The only uh, person who didn't want it originally has since asked us to go back and open yeah. their booster pack. The only person who didn't is the person who wasn't here, which we made an executive decision. And I think that's fair. All right. I'll make you a deal. What's up? I'll open this booster pack. Okay. But in exchange, I would like a water. Is such a thing possible? Possibly. Possibly. We have to go digging because we did give you the last water. What? And I chugged it just like that? <laughs> you didn't give us a chance to say, hmm, maybe you might want this. Unbelievable. These are the conditions I have to deal with. Uh, uh, to, back when I was doing a streaming, I was a water monster. I would go through like so many water bottles. Anyway. We don't have Hydrate Bot, I'm sorry. Enough about me. <laughs> Let's look at the Collector Boosters. Let's look at these delightful contents. cards. Starting off with Knight of the Keep. Hey, you know what? This is telling me I should keep the pack. I mean, you shouldn't, but Unkept Thought should. All right, Unkept Thought should keep this pack. Uh, also, I forgot to look, unkept at, thought. look at, the, at the token. So let's take a look gander here. Food on one side. Yeah. Foil token, the only place uh, you can find these. Bear on the other side. I can hardly bear to check it out. Um, that was it, an unbearable pun. Yes. Uh, but I will bear with it. Yes, well, two. That was two, two unbearable puns. Bearish the thought. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I could I could continue, but instead I will simply point out that the artist for this is named Forrest. So, wow, how fitting actually. That's fantastic. So there, there you go. Uh, okay, next up, oh baby, check this this out. Gorgeous foil I'll showcase bear witness card. To it. The Reaper of Night. Oh yes, love. Yes. Once again, even if it's like a limited common, if you open up one of these showcase cards, you just feel awesome about it. It just looks so cool. It makes you feel like wow, there's so much more to magic than what I know. You can get these really cool cards sometimes. So, that's also, fantastic. I just I love that card for the disheartening effect you can have on <coughs> the opponent of discarding two cards because then they get to see a they have to pitch possibly good cards at this point in the game, but then they also just have this looming threat of oh I can't get rid of my cards or I'm dealing with a flyer a really scary flyer. Okay, can I keep this card? You can't. Why not? You didn't say please. This card is mine. Oh, it's. Dwarven Mine is right here. Um, this is the answer to uh, to next what? Next level, Dwarven. <laughs> oh yeah, I got wrecked. Yeah, I set you up for one thing and then I got shrek. Went down the other direction. Is it ogre? Um, yeah, it makes that one one dwarf token that you were wondering about earlier. This is the card that makes that dwarf token. Turns it's out right. I didn't even need to ask the question. It would have presented itself to me eventually. Hi ho! To the pile we go. Indeed. Uh, now it is time to cast a stone and go to the Witching Well. I love this card name because Witching Well, but Witching Well, it's, it's delightful. Wait, which well? I this, this well. Ah, wonderful. Um, we'll see that in another set. I really can't wait for someone to um, try and dispel a Witching Well, which I know is not a legal play, but it does not mean that it does not make me smile regardless. Well, they could try to disallow it. Yeah, that's what works. Um, yeah, this is a card that I, I thought people were just pronouncing wrong for the longest time in, in R&D playtests. No, it's not going to work. Um, I was like, no, you're saying it wrong. It's wishing well, not wishing well. Does no one know how this is pronounced? And then I looked over and realized that no, I was the one in fact pronouncing it wrong. I feel so, like if they did wishing well, it would have to have a wish effect, and that's just dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very... One man artifact effect. with a wishing well effect. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lower the bridge. Here's the crashing drawbridge right here. Good for making all your creatures have haste. Part of me wishes it had one power just so that way you could have the flavor of some, if something attacked into it. The reason that the other creature died is because the bridge just fell on them. <laughs> it, just, it just booped it. <laughs> just like, the, the, the alligator tries to go up from underneath. He's like, boop, take that alligator. You know where you're supposed to be, back in the moat. Boop. Yeah, I hope you're hungry. It's time for a food dog. The fierce witch stalker is here. Witch stalker? Death stalker. Indeed. Um, we, we have our own morning show. I'm excited about this. <laughs> Um, and you should not be excited. The, my favorite thing about all of the, just complete tangent of the witch diss, is how much uh, Trick Jared has decided he doesn't like it. So now whenever any card gets previewed from any preview season that can be used in the witch or diss, it gets added towards him from us every single time. Well, that sounds like a really tricky situation. Oh. Um, yes. It's, a plus. This is maybe one of the best commons in the set. This card is outstanding so in limited. Um, great for your food deck. Um, now here's something. 
Uh, this is constructed playable for sure. Mm-hmm. Here's the Embereth Shieldbreaker. So it's one mana to blow up an artifact, and then it comes down as a 2-1. So as a sideboard card, it's great. <coughs> it's like a Manic Vandal that you can split up the mana cost payments of. I wouldn't be surprised to have this um, see play all over the place. We saw the storybook version of this earlier. I hope we get to see it again. Oh, I love I that Because I really piece. want the chat to see more of that. The use of, use of negative space on it's the storybook incredible. version. Incredible. You should go look it up. It's, it's amazing on the showcase card. Uh, we've got another Cauldron's Gift, once again, using Adamant, the new mechanic from mm-hmm. um, Throne of Eldraine, to really inspire you to play a monocolor deck. Um, oh, yeah, another another trip to the NIC with the Edgewall Innkeeper. Um, in and stay a while. I, as I mentioned uh, previously, this is exactly the kind of thing you want if you're playing an adventure deck. For one mana, this is a one mana card that can generate you so many more cards in card draw. If most of your creatures have adventure, this will just cantrip on all your creatures. So with followed by a curious pair or anything else. And note, once again, you don't have to have put it on the adventure first. So you can just curve this into a curious pair and it cantrips and go to town. This is a card that you can lose to so easily and limited. It looks so innocuous, but your opponent will end up so many more cards than you will if you're not careful. Kill off that innkeeper. It's gross. Okay, now we're on, we've gone through our nine, nine foils and the token. Now we're on to our showcase car, uh, cards in the pack, starting with Arden Veil Tactician. An adventure right here. Now, adventures all got the showcase treatment, so every um, every showcase card will be an adventure, and this is an example of such. I really just love that card. And speaking so speaking of Curious Pair. Hey! Pair. Now we've got four, so we have two Curious Pairs. We've got a pair of pairs. That's become quite apparent. Indeed. Look at this, so curious. Great, after that Innkeeper, right? You go with the, once again, that turn one Innkeeper, turn two Curious Pair. That's what you want to see right here. Meanwhile, your opponent's sitting across from you saying that they are going to perish. <laughs> uh, Reaper of Knights. Ah, so we got the foil and non-foil foil and non-foil. in the same pack. Wonderful. All right. You can choose which you prefer, shiny or otherwise. Oh, now, now my friend. Um, we've talked about how I'm the Commander Architect, our Commander stuff. Mm-hmm. So, so far, we've opened up Shimmer Dragon for our first one, but then we opened up Arcane Signet mm-hmm. and Command Tower. So I have a feeling that we might have a Brawl card here. It because is there definitely is some excitement for a commander. It's definitely exciting for a commander. All I'm going to say is you want me to keep opening up, up these packs for you because we have, the as improbable as it may sound, <laughs> another arcane signal. <laughs> wow. As improbable as it may sound, we have a drop card, but oh, wow, yes. So, so that's, that's thought. There you go. Pretty awesome. You get an arcane signal to roll with. These have been really hard to come by, especially because the brawl decks I know went really fast. Uh, with Card Kingdom and, and many other oh, retailers. So um, there are more Brawl decks on the way. We've announced a reprint of them. Mm-hmm. So you can expect those uh, you know, probably next month. But um, in the meantime, you're going to want to get your hands on this Arcane Signet. And Unkempt Thought, you will have one right here. Put it right into your favorite Commander deck. Favorite Commander deck, favorite Brawl deck, favorite whatever deck. You can put you it in, ha- you put If it you in. have some kind of uh, Commander variant that you enjoy. I mean, you can put it in your favorite standard deck. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um, it's kind of like a two-minute Dark Steel ingot that isn't indestructible at that point, but like you do what you want. <coughs> I always say that if you are playing and your opponent plays turn one command tower in standard, you should just be terrified. Because <laughs> They're next leveling you somehow. Either they don't know what's going on, or you don't know what's going on. Either way, it's going to be a trip. However, Unkempt Thought is saying it's going straight in their cast deck. So oh, what perfect. a cast distant mage effort. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, Unkempt Thought, you have... Done well. You've done very well with this pack. Did Gavin's the, magic touch work? Follow yeah. up your arcane signet. Yeah, I should just open everyone's collector boosters. We've got a questing beast. Oh! Our, so one of the hottest cards. <laughs> on the hottest cards from the set in that great, great, great extended art treatment. <laughs> you keep thinking you know what it does, and then there's another line of text. Yeah, this is a super powerful green creature. Incredible. Really, really powerful. Um, note, it is legendary. This has been a big discussion on Twitter today. It is mm-hmm. legendary, so don't play your second one. It's not going to go well for you. Um, but you only, only need one to start with. This is great. Wow. Gorgeous. The Questing Beast? Yes, the Questing Beast. That's perfect. Okay, and then finally, Foil Rare or Mythic Rare. Yes. But none other than <coughs> the 2018 World Champion himself, Javier hey! Dominguez is here, Wonderful. holding his sweet, sweet trophy. Uh, and this is this card's super playable too. Like in a night deck, this guy hits hard. It's pretty easy to make him worse. It's real scary. Yeah, he comes in, he crashes in. He, he's gonna deal one on the first turn, but then yeah, pump up your other knights on subsequent turns. And that equip bonus is no joke. Like if you have equipment in your deck, you can move him around for free or significantly less using him. So 
It's Especially really with powerful. the seriously powerful equipment that comes out in Eldrain. Like, I'm strapping an Ember Cleave to Furman Champion, and it's going to be great. Well, and, and who knows what might be in future sets. Wink, wink, elbow, elbow. Actually, wink, wink, again. <laughs> I think you do. I think if we're leading this, you do. I sure hope I do. Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, that's a pretty hot pack. So you got a Questing yeah, Beast, an Arcane Signet, Furman Champion, a variety of awesome showcase stuff. Very nice unkempt thought. I will put this in a little little tin for you. And as you get note, once again, if anyone wants me to sign any cards that are opened out there for them, I am more than happy to do it. Be my pleasure. Yes. Uh, I believe our producer is making a list of anyone who asked for that while we go along. Lovely. And then just for both you as well as for the chat out there, so that you know what the state of the rest of the stream is, we've got about 15 to 20 or 15 to 17 minutes left here looking at the clock. We have got three more packs. To oh, my gosh. We've got to do that. That we've got them. And then we also have one more giveaway. I can oh. have this on for this very fancy and very limited... CK Letterman jacket. Yeah. Oh, looks, okay, can I ask a question? Yeah. So I was on the local game show on, on yes. Monday. It was great. If you haven't watched the VOD, go back and watch it. It was a total blast. It should be up now. And um, I saw this jacket. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good <coughs> jacket. And today I got dressed and I was like, here's my lame, not <laughs> card kingdom style. I mean, close style. to Letterman style, it's but like, cardigan. It's like l- Lamderman jacket. You got the Storm Crow shirt. You're fine. It, it's fine. How do I get one of these jackets? If I, if I want to purchase one, how do I do so? Well, at this time, they're not available for purchase. Can I go into chat and try and win one? What, what's, what are my best options? Your <laughs> options are, in this case, chat, but we have already pulled the winner, so it's too late for you, Gavin. I'm sorry. However, this entire month, we are running giveaways on Car Kingdom. I have got, for myself here, a, a handful of jackets I'm able to give away on social media for the rest of the month. All right. So I'll be running contests very frequently to give away not only these jackets, but also a Japanese War of the Spark booster box, maybe a Throne of Eldraine booster box, just various things, but we'll have those available there, and then we'll have some to give away in other means throughout the month. Oh, that's fantastic. That's well, the current play. Well, stay tuned, everyone, because these jackets are awesome. I mean, they look awesome in person, and also very important, we're getting to the time of season where you're going to need these. At least if you live in Seattle, you're going to need these. Today was colder than I expected, and I want to walk out with this, but I know I can't. Yeah, this I, is not I, actually mine. I want to walk out with that more than ever today. I've been wearing a t-shirt and this fake Letterman jacket. The and biggest I, yikes. I need it. Anyway, we've got 16 minutes. And three packs to get through. That's five minutes a pack. We're into turbo round. Are you ready to go turbo? I am always ready to go turbo. It's but time. Not on Twitch. Atomic XOXO. I love you too, Atomic. Aw. Let's Who open up. Who doesn't love some Atomic love? All right, everyone. I will need this. Zoom on in. Assume, uh, Atomic, would you like your pack opened? Um, all right, Twitch chat. One, two, or three for Atomic. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Six. This is one. This is three. This is two, as we all know. Oh, then <laughs> clearly it's three. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Oh, it looks looking close. Looking close. Also, I'm going to quickly just do a quick deactivate here. See what we can do about that. No, that's not going to work. Why are you doing this? I can't believe you've done this. You know, it looks pretty close. I haven't really counted one or three. We're just going to go with one. It feels a little different. <laughs> All right. I do uh, not see. I didn't see anything, anything from Atomic. Atomic so, so, which means we're going by our default. All right, we're gonna open we're it. We're gonna open it. All right, Atomic, this is for you. Let's see what we got, and this is Turbo Town now. We open this for you. Turbo Town, so we're gonna go a little faster. Plus, you've already heard all my stories anyway. I can't tell you uh, any more times how about that uh, Smitten Swordmaster. So, all right, what we got? Start off with food Besides, token. There's always the one story we can always ask Gavin <coughs> if we do need to fill time that everyone asks Gavin. Which one? There is one story that you are well known for. I the best part is I think you could be referencing three different stories right now. Does it involve a large conical object? Yes, it involves a large conical object. <laughs> yes, um, yes, my volcano story. You can go read it yourself. You can just go Google Gavin volcano. It's the first result. It is quite an epic. Uh, it'll take you a half hour to read though. So okay, let's start though. Really, all right. You ready for this? Yes. Turbo Town. Here we go. First up, I'll do it in the form of a rap. Okay, I didn't realize that we were aping Polygon now, but we can do this. We're going to begin, or like a, I don't know, beat poem or something, okay? We're going to begin with a night token on one side, food on the other. Tell everyone to listen to your brother. Coming up next, you didn't say please. Oh no, that was a pun earlier. 
Uh, let, let's see where you lead. What's up going now? Time for to say, I'm, I'm profiting today with the peak today. It's profit of the peak. Please we're, in, we're in for the best. Scry two. Maybe you, then you'll manifest. Here's coming up Coming up next. We got Marley Ryder. Loves food and hits like a hyena. Because it's an elf knight riding something. Probably a wolf, but there's no way to be sure. Coming up next. None of that works. <laughs> None of that rhymes. Come, come. <laughs> Coming up next, True Love's Kiss, Kiss Kiss Bang, that's all right. Exile Artifact Enchantment, it's good all night. Coming up now, we got one more, Malviolent Noble, a two mana two two, and got a noble in store. Second artifact or another creature for a plus one plus one counter. Wow, you don't even know how you're gonna even get an attacker. Coming up one more time, we see Moonlit Scavengers, Merfolk C, a four, five, <laughs> a six mana yo. Twice? You can write, hey, look man, all right, brief interlude. If the bagel <laughs> is this the breakdown? If the bagel bites theme song can rhyme time with time, I can do anything. Okay? Now back to your regular Lawyer. program. All right, Moonless Scavengers, four, five, or six man. I said some words already. I'm not gonna blather. Coming up next, we got an uncommon. It's an Archon, because can't you see? Archon of Absolution, gonna be. Here it is for a mana 3-2. Protection from white. Creatures can't attack. Don't even try and hit me. That'd be whack. What's coming up next? Oh, this card's good and limited, yo. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Constructed 2 with Field of the Dead is gonna blow. Revenge of Ravens. Pluck out your eyes. You don't need those, and I'm gonna mize. One more time, it's another card, Shepherd of the Flock in the Showcase Yard. Gonna be a two mana, three one. Pick up a creature, we're gonna have some fun. Usher to safety, that's not a pun. Da 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 do. Not even done. All right, that's just the nine commons we got through now. It's time for the showcase cards. Ho ho wow. This is a pretty good one, I gotta say. Hypnotic Sprite, gonna save the day. Counter a spell with converted mana cost three or less. 2-1 flyer, it's the best. It's like playing fairies back in standard. Then we're gonna go out to the schoolyard. Okay, coming up next, here's what we got. Okay, Ranger, give it a thought, put it on a venture, then bring it back and attack for two or make your creatures go smack. With that plus one plus one, it's really good. I'm hanging out in the hood. It's also just a good card. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're doing the like thing where like the rap, the other rapper comes in, right? Yeah, I'm I'm the straight man the in this. Uh, yeah, I'm the hype man, but I'm not hype because these mics are sensitive and I don't want to yell. Okay. Well, anyway, Merchant in the Veil gonna sell you a cow, haggling away. Whoa, now drawing cards, discarding cards too. My dread deck's gonna love this. Oh, you will too. Okay, one more time. It's time for the ancillary slot, yo. <laughs> We've hit pretty hard with Brawl Deck cards, and this spot makes no mistake. I'm gonna hit you with a really hot take. Embereth Sky Blazer, blazing on up. Attack for big times for every opponent you have. Your, your opponents are gonna be plucked. It's going to be good. It's good. gonna be good. a real good time. This is the best moment we've had. A, a, attack for four. I can bust a rhyme. Now I got one word to say. It's what all the kids are saying today. Yeet. Because you see, we're on the extended art cards. It's gonna be a rare. There's only one word that anyone has a care. It's on social media. It's in your feed. I guarantee what you don't know is what I'm saying is gonna blow. It's gonna be a real big deal. So prepare <laughs> to find a word that rhymes with this. It's harding to do. So ah, I'm just gonna say happening. it. Here's a honk for you. I will give you that for the last one. I will give you the Gilded Goose joke. I appreciate that. Honk, everybody. One more card. If you've been listening, I'm a bard. What you get at the very end of this thing now a is, a, is a rare, going to be foil, and even better, though, this one is showcase, so put on your pantaloons. Here we go. It's time. <laughs> for... <laughs> Here we go. It's time for a good old story. Storybook frame. Get on ready. Let me tell you about my friend Jack and the giant killer. He went smack. Gonna attack your giants all day? That's a collector booster. Have a good day. Do I still have hip hop air horn? I sure don't. Did we go up or down in viewers during that Oh, segment? we went sharply down. Perfect. We absolutely lost about 30 people during that segment. They will give you a 10 out of 10 because it ended. <laughs> the good news is... That it's over. Yes, we did lose a fourth of our viewers, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was a heck of a thing there. Kevin. I figured I would save it till the end because we're going to lose those viewers in 10 minutes anyway. So might as well just hemorrhage them now and go on a slow decline. <laughs>
That At- wasn't slow. Atomic XOXO. Congratulations and it is a fun look. It is also a fun looking pack. That is the It is a fun looking pack. Oh, it did get slightly buried in the uh, amazing rap skills of Gavin. So, yeah, I mean, just so you know, announced right now on Card Kingdom streams, uh, Magic Fest Portland. There will actually be a panel stage where Gavin will be doing improv with Magic. Love it. Let's do it. I won't be there, so I can't hold him to that. That's all on him now. Um, <laughs> dude, you got to extend our Gilded Goose. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, the extended Gold Gilded Goose is <laughs> okay. incredible. Who's next? We, uh, we got uh, we got we have, nine minutes of two packs. So and next, plus the, the jacket giveaway, right? Yes. So next, uh, we have a regular in our community. Uh, we have EJGR Gunner winning that wonderful collector's booster. All right, collector booster. We're just gonna grab this one, EJGR Gunner. I'm not gonna wrap it for you. I already did that once. I feel like that's more than enough. So. You don't uh, want to go to the well too often. Yeah, you can only go to the witching well once per pack. Yeah, when you witch upon a pack, you can only do it once per stream. All right. Otherwise, you kill the meme, and also, it might do some damage to the dream. Okay. But, with you and I together as a team, our skills are more than they seem, so now, let's show off. Uh, I don't have a finisher. Dang All right. It. I already used dream. Should I show you this card? Yes, please. It's Profit of the Peak, everybody. Check out Profit of the Peak. Come on! <laughs> it's, a, it's a great, it's a great match. Wait, is it card. Profit of the Beef? It, can we now call it Profit of the Beef because it's a 5-5? Five five? It's a cat. There's now a request, can we get this pack as an interpretive dance? <laughs> no! Our studio is not big enough for that. I do dance, though, so keep that in mind for next stream. Okay, Profit of the Peak. When we have a bigger studio. Profit of the Peak. Here we go. All right, can I show off this next card? Sure. Didn't say please. I'm really good. Uh, the cat counter spell, mill some cards. Oh, Gavin, That's Gavin, great. Gavin, Gavin. <coughs> uh, it's time for uh, Mara Leaf Rider. Strong card in your limited food deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, also, just very like it goes. I feel like even though they're not riding a dog, this goes into the ever popular doggo commander decks that always get made because it's close enough to riding a dog. Yes, yeah. I mean if you love if you love foxes, this is a, this is good for you. Uh, if you're a big fan of Disney's Robin Hood. Here's a true love's kiss. If you like Slice and Twain, this card's just uh, just better. So pretty exciting. Uh, Malevolent Noble. Mm -hmm. Right, we kind of went over earlier. You know, um, a bear with value. You know, Noble is actually new for the set, by the way. Mm -hmm. So it's a new thing. Cards, cards finally got to be Noble. Moonlit Scavengers again. There uh, is also a peasant card, isn't there? Is there a peasant creature type? I know we talked about it. I don't remember where we landed. I'm sure mm -hmm. the chat will tell us. Um. So I mentioned earlier, once again, this hybrid cycle is really important because um, it means that you can kind of play this in three different decks, right? Your black-red deck, your mono-black deck, or your mono-red deck, as opposed to just being being a four mm -hmm. uh, for the one color, which is super important uh, for limited and just kind of there at uncommon to, to grease the wheels to make, to make it work. So it's pretty gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Awesome land right here. We've got Tournament Grounds. Mm, just wonderful for the Night Limited deck. You are ecstatic. You <coughs> yeah, it. I mean, Orin Constructed. Like, I can easily... This is going to be a backbone mini Knight Constructed deck, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, Being that it's one of those few multi-lands that have no tap claws. Right. Uh, Heraldic... And taps for normal mana, mm -hmm. unlike Ancient Ziggurat, too. Heraldic Banner. Also in a monocolor deck, for sure, right? Pumps oh, yeah. all your creatures and as a mana rock. I predict that this will get played in plenty of commander decks. Mm -hmm. Great in tokens, right? You're playing your white, white-black tokens deck or something. Fabulous. Okay, now we've gone through the foils and we're into the uh, the alt frame cards. Yeah. So here's a, one of my favorites. I love the art. Faye of Wishes is here. I love this art. I saw that the original went on sale on eBay and I wept because I'm not getting it, but I hope I can get rid of this at some point because this art's incredible. So it's a, a gorgeous piece of art and I just love the gameplay of getting, of wishing. Like it's a it's a Faye of Wishes that actually wishes and you get to get cards. I love getting cards from outside the game. I'm mm -hmm. just a total sucker for it. Um, so yeah, it's pr pretty sweet. Every judge loathes that line of text, but well, I, I love it. So I <laughs> try to make it's up for that. Pretty easy to explain. It's not that bad. Oh no, but you always have to explain it because it, it's one of those things where I remember as a new player that I definitely thought I could go to my binder, but then I was began playing kitchen table, and that's the greatest thing about Magic is that we made our own rules for that. Here's a lonesome unicorn. We've seen that guy before. Mm -hmm. uh, the queen. Of, first time I opened a queen of ice, though. Ooh. That's pretty exciting. Um, Although now that you've opened the queen of ice, it's gonna be tough to let that go. <laughs> That's a reference I don't understand. Oh, it's a little bit frozen to your hand. Um, 
Now, we'll continue the theme of me opening up Brawl deck cards Wonderful. with a Thorn Mammoth. This card is scary. Oh, yeah. And in the best way possible. I think in playtesting we called this the green board sweeper, right? Because you put this down and you just start casting creatures and killing their stuff off. <laughs> that's pretty uh, pretty sweet. So that's nice. And I'm going to go faster because we only got a few more minutes left. We've got Piper of the Swarm. Extended art. Looks gorgeous. Make all your ratatouille. It's fantastic. Also the biggest removal magnet in limited, I feel yeah, like I you, have you got to kill it. You have to kill it. <laughs> Then I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about this dragon with opportunistic dragon right here. Ooh. Your, your foil rare, mythic rare. Yeah, it's a good old, good old four three. Um, steel steal a creature, attack for four in the air, mm -hmm. and then we'll of course a cap off the pack with this double sided token, the fairy and the food. Also, my new favorite fairy art because it absolutely looks like it's holding a keyblade, and as a Kingdom Hearts mark, I'm always here for it. Okay, so we'll put this in back in for EG, EGJR Gunner. Yes. We got one more quick pack to op open up. We got a and pack. We got two minutes to do it. Jacket. So we're gonna do it pretty fast. So we've got Sir Chibs. Congratulations, Sir Chibs. Land. Congratulations. So we are gonna let Gavin dive right on into this. Yep. All right, see what we got, Sir Chibs. Hope you're as excited as I am. We've got a showcase Arnold Tactician. Ooh, out, showcase that foil glimmer. too. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, we start off with our foils, so you got that gorgeous glimmer. You'll always get the nine foils in your pack first. Some showcase, some not. You get Fell the Peasant, which is quite a mouthful to say. Mm hmm. Get some food. We've got oh, Fell the Pheasant. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fell the Pheasant, yes, that one. That's what I told you it was hard to say. Um, Arndale Paladin is here. The Blood Haze Wolverine. He's doing that fun draw your second card like <coughs> archetype, which I really enjoy. Mm hmm. That can very swiftly take over a game with tempo. It's One of my fantastic. favorite non-showcase arts in the whole set, Run Away Together. This card is just adorable <laughs> to me. I love, love, it's love. It's so good. It's just, I'll be using this. It's so cute. As a meme for years. Um, Barrow Witches. I need to get a Carla Rae Jepsen altar of that, though. I for see. For the, you know, Run Away With Me. Uh, I was thinking Call Me Maybe. Ooh, that also works. Uh, Wolf's Quarry, our little Three Little Pigs Aww. situation. Okay, that. full disclosure, I just realized that, that was a Three Little Pigs reference wow. when you said that. Yeah, you're finding all kinds of... See, you're still wow. finding out new things about this set. This set's got levels. Wow. Great foil for your Knight's deck right here. Inspiring oh, Veteran, yeah. cornerstone of a Knight strategy. I've got the Spinning Wheel. Of course, a little Rapunzel. Gorgeous in foil, too. And then, okay, so we've gone through our nine, nine foils. Now we're going to do our three showcase cards. We've got the Fairy Guide Mother. We've got the theme of the day, Smitten Swordmaster, <laughs> which now we've opened up a full set of these in Showcase, so that's pretty pretty sweet. I am I am Smitten, what can I say? And then... Um, there, big fans. And your other, my other special, your theme, other special theme, theme of the curious day. Pair. And the Brawl cards keep on rolling. Oh, Folks, I we love it. <laughs> We've got a gluttonous troll. Ooh, that's our second gluttonous troll oh, yeah? today, actually. Yeah. Well, it makes sense they are pretty gluttonous. Mm -hmm. They, they all, always uh, want to eat. So that's pretty sweet. Blood Slightly distressing art, but fantastic art. Yeah, it's very powerful in uh, multiplayer games. And then for our full art extended card, mm -hmm. we've got Harmonious Archon. Ooh, 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 it's beautiful. It's beautiful, I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it, but Sir Chibs, I don't get it. Um, now, I didn't show off the, the token yet, so I'm going to do that slow roll of rare. Okay. You got your fairy on one side, fantastic on the other. Now, Sir Chibs, are you out there in the chat? Is Sir Chibs in the chat right now? I don't think I've seen them, unfortunately. Well, but they can see the VOD too. I hope everyone's as excited as I am for this next one because I feel like this is. I mean, we cracked. You watched us crack these packs. We didn't know what was in them. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're ending on a really high note. Yeah. Congratulations. We have a foil. Oko Thief of Crowns. Oh! <laughs> so that's. Uh, what a way to finish! That is quite nice. No tricks here. Yeah, no. That is that is the real deal. That is wow. exciting. Congratulations. These are random packs that we grabbed and then put on the table in random orders. I, mean, so I, mean, I, I, them to, I did ask them what order to open them in, to be fair. And they uh, the chat, as always, guided us correctly. So, they got wow, congratulations, Sir Chips. What a hot pack. You got your Harmonious Archon, your Oko. Woo. So you're going in this troll, it's re real good times. Oh, heck yeah. Real good times. Wow, that is awesome. Wow, I'm going to be very careful with this deck of cards. Yes. Put the Oko right on top here. Very, very. Ooh, and our food token. Oh, and our food token. So I forget. Can't forget our fairy food. All right. Well, that's all the, the packs. Now, you've got this uh, jacket to give away, right? we got one jacket to give away. We gave one away in the beginning of the stream. We've got one more to give away right now. And for everyone out there, if you didn't win something today, I do apologize, but there's been a lot of demand and a lot of awesome folks showed up in chat. So 
you know, we're not going to complain about it because it shows how much the community is excited about things like this. And we're going to keep that excitement going by giving away this jacket. And then for the entire month of October, from here until we end with the chalice, we're giving away stuff on our social media accounts. We're giving away stuff through the streams. We just want to give back. And so, funny enough, uh, I don't know if they are still around, but very active user in chat today. Also, asker of one of your questions, who asked who played, what is your favorite janky card? It's Dad Plays Jank. Hey! So congratulations, Dad Plays Jank. Uh, we've got all your info for your jacket sizing and everything. Chris is taking care of that along with the rest of our giveaways. And that's going to do it for this very special Throne of Eldraine collector's unpacking, pun, wrapping, just filled with Gavin-ing stream that we did today. Well, thank you all so much for coming out and watching. It really means a lot. And it was a blast to be on here with you folks. I love these collector boosters. Gavin, thank you so much for like, spending some we, time. We, we opened some really awesome packs, too. Oh, it just yeah. goes to show the cool stuff you can find in these. So if you are fortunate enough to get your hands on some of them, uh, go and go and try and find them. Mm -hmm. We definitely do have them on Car Kingdom. If you can find them at your local game store as well, just anywhere you can get a hold of them. They're just a joy to open. Like Absolutely. It's just like the pile of oh fun stuff is a blast. Every single pack has something enjoyable in it, and it's great. So thank you again, Gavin, for swinging on by and spending your afternoon with us. Oh, yeah, my, my pleasure. Anytime. Wonderful. And All folks, right. if you did, if you missed Gavin on the local game show, that VOD is over on our YouTube channel. Go check it out. See Gavin dab with his cards as well as have to answer magic trivia and figure out what some MS Paint art was. It's a great time. And if you have any questions I didn't or answer in chat for you, you can always hit me up on Twitter. Just my name, at Gavin Verhe. Tweet at me, and I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. All right. That's going to do it for my Have a good night, folks. Take care, everybody. Au revoir. Have fun.